uh, redraw or anything like that, but if you have one that you don't like, um, you can choose to spend it like the actual like PHB inspiration. Like you can just basically play the card and just get advantage on your choice of a roll. So if you have a card you don't like, that's it's not completely useless because you can still use it to get advantage. And when um, when am I going to be whittled back down to three? At the beginning of chapter two, Tomorrow. which is that's After a good this. question. Well, that kind of doesn't help. Well, you'll have to strategically play your cards or lose them. I'm moving boxes. Um, um, how come I can see all of Colby's cards? You should. Always. You should use. You should always be able to see everybody's cards. Oh, okay. You should use your third one, Colby, while moving boxes. <laughs> Billy, go ahead and draw one too. So you don't have it. Where all this extra stuff come from? <laughs> I'll trade you just, some, Colby. How do I, I draw them? That I can't use. Can't trade. You hover over the deck. There should be an option for you to Full draw. Shot. You're such a okay. rules lawyer. So, Mister. Where to find that? Scroll out. Scrolling out. It's to the right of the Indian lady at the bottom right. Oh, okay, let me scroll back in. I scroll way too far. Out. To the right of her. I see it now. Now, how do I exit someone else's deck if I'm looking at it? Click on the deck again. All right. Okay. Sorry, that's a new thing for me. These spells are all useless. All right. so I've drawn a card. Wrong. You're useless. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, you're a rogue. Now, <laughs> we have a little bit of an issue. Um, so uh, JJ and JJ and Wes have a shared um, Roll Twenty account that they use as like their GM account, um, and they pay for like the highest end subscription in order to be able to get the max features. Um, I'm buying into that with them, um, and so I've switched everything over now. The problem is, and it wasn't something I was aware of, was that everything that I did on my account as the GM, while all the images and stuff are still here. If I'm not at the maximum membership, then they can't get the benefits of those maximum memberships if they're the GM. So now that I'm on JJ's GM account, I can't do like the dynamic lighting or any of like the like unique stuff that uh, is available to those memberships. Oh, so, I see what you're saying. And I can't transfer create since I'm the since Martin is the creator of this game. I can't I can transfer GM to somebody, but I can't transfer creator. And the right. GM can't have any more. Uh, um, permissions than the creator does. So the only way I can get all those permissions is I either have to pay for my own separate account, and Colby left. This kind of concerns him. Sorry, my <laughs> wife is refusing to listen to me. Hang on one second. I got. I'll be right back. Talk louder. All right. Well, we will get a beer then. So hey, hey. Mark, real fast. Um, <clears throat> so that I'm not wasting other people's time. Um, I ran into the same exact issue and. What I ended up just basically having to do was I just straight up just moved most of my campaign assets over, which was a bitch. Yeah, and I realized that this this game has probably been going on too long to probably do that. No, that's what I was going to get to. Is that the uh, only way that I can the only way that I can be able to have access to features access to those features without paying for it myself would be that I would have to scrap this campaign and start another, and then right. I'd, have to, I'd have to re put everything back in. The sheets I could potentially export and import back in. But I think so. Since the sheets are kind of bugged in this game anyway, for some reason, um, it may not be a bad idea for everybody to have to re-enter everything into the sheet again anyway. At least okay. those of you that are having problems with shitty sheets. What's wrong with the sheets? I know that a couple people, when they were using the buttons in there, especially with the tax, they were getting a syntax error. Ah. And yeah, it just kind of and it kind of just happened. Like nothing got changed. It was just like middle of one session. Like it just started not working anymore. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna go grab a beer real quick. And I'll be right back. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna grab another beer as well. I'm gonna finish my character. Oh, yeah, ah. look at that! Look at that sweet 3D dice. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna get a beer too then. Beer. 
Beer, 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 beer. Nothing running on nothing. <laughs> Oh, JJ. Milk Step Nitro. So good. Yeah, yeah, good. Go. yeah. Left hand. It is. Me and JJ have <clears throat> for a long time said that left hand's nitro, the milk stout nitro on tap is like the best beer ever. They had it at Pazos too in Lexington. On tap. What was that? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Mention Blue Stallion. Martin just magically appears. It's my, my place. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. So, what I was saying then is that basically, in order for me to get full um, use of my features, I'm going to have to start another copy of this campaign, which means everybody will have to like join another one. So within the week, you'll probably be getting a invite email to a new campaign, doing the same thing, um, and then you'll have to go in there and um, if you want me to move your sheet over, I can, or if you just want to or if you want to type everything back in again, you can do that. I don't want to type everything back in. Well, as long as yours is working, you don't have to. I should be able to not export working. it out and import it back in. It's not working. Well, then you can either have a not working sheet or you can type it all back in. I can continue on with it not working? If you want. Okay, I'll probably do that because I don't have the time to re enter all my shit. Lazy ass. <laughs> I'm not lazy. I Colby. don't have any time. I have a if, baby. Colby, if you job. want me to, I can try. Uh, I could probably copy it over for you. I have a lot of dead time. Well, now you're making me feel sure bad. No, I'm serious. <laughs> like, I, I, I dick time. around. I seriously dick around and roll 20 like all goddamn day. So that sounds nice. <laughs> You'll like steal my stats. I'll come back and it's like, why do I have charisma three? <laughs> it's far. Seriously, don't don't feel bad about it. I'll uh I'll see if I can get a copy over. <laughs> I might take you up on it. <laughs> All right, so we left off last time with MC JJ and uh, uh, Dorian about to get killed. Sweet, and Aaron. That said, MC. I'm I'm a, I'm dual rolled. All right, MCU. so you guys chatted a little bit in between sessions. Uh, what did you, you guys decide on anything you want to do? Well, the only idea I came up with was fraying rope and then sending my bat down the drain. I mean, yeah, I think that's was, where we were at when you said stop. It, it was talked about that you guys were going to do that, but there was also talk that Dorian didn't want to risk his bat. Oh, I'm fine with raising the bat if I have a rope tied to it, so I can guarantee getting it back out. Or at least feel more comfortable about getting it back out. So somebody's got to... Uh, if you, yeah, You're going to be the one... To, whoever's going to be... Who's going to be tying it to the rope? Or t tying it to the bat? Um, I mean, me, unless somebody else offers, because... Okay. my idea, I guess. Burgarg is holding donkey above his head. <laughs> I figured... Okay, so um, Wes, make a uh, untrained dexterity check. Okay. Untrained. Your mama's so heavy she puts the server into tight Ah, uh, where are those? Tag on it. There we go. Found it. George. What did he say? <laughs> Not horrible. Could have been a lot worse. Okay. So, yeah, you get frayed up and tied to his feet. Cool. Um, remember, though, you are in pitch darkness. Yep. So, and you only know that there's a drain because uh, Aaron told you. Gotcha. So, you so, haven't actually got to a drain yet. I'm going to tell Aaron to hold this into this rope. And I'm going to fumble around until I find it. <laughs> I'm going to hand it to you. <laughs> like, I'm holding it. So, I'll hand it to you. I'll be like, hold on to this. I'm going to try to send the bat down the drain. <laughs> But he holds okay. it at like crotch level. So I'm gonna then switch and like um, focus and like 
look through the bat, and then I'll have the bat go and like crawl over and go down the bay, drain since he can actually like tell where the shit things are. Okay. Man, I should have put you in a silence field too. Then you couldn't even use the bat to see. <laughs> that would have sucked. That's brutal. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so you're lowering the bat down in there. Mm -hmm. I guess MC is lowering it down in there. I mean, I figured it would probably just like squeeze and like slowly slide down. I yeah. you said it was too big for the bat to actually like comfortably fit through, anyways. So. Right. But somebody's got to be holding the rope. You can't. Yeah. Do it. I'm basically I'm telling Aaron to hold on to the end of rope and not let go of it. I'm and then the bat it. is just gonna go down the hole. Okay. Slowly. So you lower the bat down, it goes down about fifteen feet before it curves. Um and then um it continues going down a curved pipe and then about another fifteen feet after that it opens up into more of like a half pipe um and into open air. Um the bat can see how how far it is uh, echolocation site? Blind sense, I think it's 20 feet. Okay. So he can see that below it there is like a uh, a large bowl or tub um, below um, that shaft. And um, down there at that tub, he sees um, somebody standing there um, just kind of like um, looking around the room, looking at the tub, looking up to where uh, the end of the um, drain pipe is, and he looks like. Martin, Martin? look at this. Martin, just go. Martin froze. While my, while Martin is frozen, I have a question for the group. I get two free spells up to third level of any class. Is it ridiculous for me to choose Eldritch Blast, which is a cantrip? <laughs> no, because it is the strongest cantrip in the game. I was going to say, what that's the, the first one. That, 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 sometimes you eat the bar. Shit, Billy. Sometimes the bar. But where, it, but where it gets really strong, Colby, is it when you, at two when you can get the charisma damage to it. So you'd have to actually go into Warlock a little bit. What? Yeah. You'd have to. Yeah. What the fuck is you that? Like, if you want to make Elf Blast really good, you, you got to dip into Warlock. I lost everybody like all at yeah. once. You you blinked out of existence. I lost you. I am right. Sam Elliott. What did you? Oh, you guys did get to see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? The <laughs> no. The answer is fucking no. <laughs> so yeah. So ba Why you basically, the bat sees down at the bottom near near the tub. He sees this guy, and he's like looking around. Um, Billy, make a perception check. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> fucking stealth. Skills. Bad, sick ass stealth. I look at this and I try to remember how great Roadhouse was, and it's it's um, it's ruining it. <laughs> All right, so Billy, you do not notice the bat uh, that is in the drain pipe. Okay. Um. But yeah, so that's that's what you see, Wes. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> I'm not gonna know what to think about that. Um, so actually, I was looking at this. Apparently, the bat actually just also has low light vision, but I don't know what its maximum vision range. Is. Well, that wouldn't do anything without there being light at all. Low right. light just allows you to be able to see dim light beyond regular light. Okay. So, is there zero light in here? Like, I have to use blind sense to be able to see anything. To get down the tube, yes. But once it gets down to the half pipe opening of it, then there is light down in there. And um, and your low light wouldn't even matter. Like you can actually see. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, interesting. I don't know what to think. All right, I'm gonna tell the bat like to stay put, like stay where you are, and I'm gonna snap out of control real quick and tell Aaron to let go of the rope. So you tell me to let go of the rope. Yeah. How much rope did I end up fraying? Ah. Uh -huh. Like, how long is this rope? <coughs> it's 50 uh, foot. Is how long a normal thing of rope is. Okay, so I guess if I frayed, like, one strip off of the rope, then it would be 50 feet. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Where is that? Okay. Um. Shit, it needs to be untied so it can fly. Yeah, I came up through 
I don't know what to do to help you. <laughs> uh, just hold hold on. Never mind. Don't don't let go of the rope. Okay. Okay. Can the, can the bat try to chew through the rope now that it's down there to get it off of its feet? It could, but I mean, you can only perceive through its senses. You can't actually like control it, right? I can tell it what to do. It like basically, I can't. I can't tell my familiar to actually make attacks. But that is up to you as whether or not that it's considered an attack. The um, find the find familiar spell basically lets you have the bat do basic actions and stuff, but no actual attacking. So if I summoned like a hawk or something, then I can't have it go like swoop down and attack somebody's eyes. Okay. Yeah. Um. You can, you can have it chew through the rope. Okay. So can it get it get its feet free? Um. Yeah. It manages to get its feet free. Okay. Then I'm just gonna have it go survey the whole room. Like have it fly up, try to be quiet as you know bats are, as a pretty ridiculous hide and move silently. Okay, so have the bat roll. If it's trying to do it sneakily, have it roll a stealth check. Uh, do you want a hide or a move silently? The, neither of those exist in 5e. Really? Is it? Is this not the 5e SRD at all? Am I looking at the wrong SRD? I don't know that there is a 5e SRD. I don't think there is a oh. 5e SRD. Well, shit. There's not, then I have very well may have been looking at the wrong information. So I don't actually know what it's uh <laughs> a bat Stealth. Wesley fail. Yeah, a bat well, I, has, I wasn't aware. Bat has blind sight of sixty feet. Um but it does not have a stealth skill or anything like that, so you okay. would just have to roll a D twenty plus two. Okay. Then I will just do that. Okay, and then Billy, you should make a perception. Okay. 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 Shit. So you notice uh, that there's a bat that flies out of the um, the drain pipe. Well, well, hey there, little fella, come here. <laughs> 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 um, well, and so. This is oh, it's a little bat guy. Billy, do you have any? Uh, like, are you proficient in Arcana? In Arcana? Uh, no. Okay, well then, you, it's just a bat. And you see a bat flying around. It's kind of weird that it came out of a drain pipe, considering the drain pipe only goes up to the sacrificial room. Um, but, yeah, so there's a bat that flew out of there. Oh, Shit. Oh, I, had, I just had to pull up that picture again, Billy. <laughs> to, go, to go with it when you speak. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right, like something fun down here. Let me see how I'm cool up there. Maybe there's a hole in the plumbing. So, Martin, I'm going to go investigate to see if, like, vermin are getting in. I just redid the woodwork down here, and I don't want to get it chewed up. Okay. So, <laughs> ma make, an in make an investigation. Okay. What the hell? Everything seems to be pretty well intact. Um, well, I ain't chewing up my wood. That's Wes good. Wes, you see the guy sitting <laughs> at the bottom. He, he's definitely addressed the bat, and... Uh, and it's like he starts walking around, starts inspecting like different parts of the room. Uh, okay, is there clearly is concerned door? of what's going on? There is a door in that room down there. Is it open? I'm gonna pull out like a little piece of dried fruit and be like, "Here, little buddy, Here, little buddy." I'm gonna set it like nearby where I could like grab the bat if it goes for the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's gonna stay flying for now. <laughs> um, what what is in this room? Uh, pretty much just the tub, um, okay. and like a couple of buckets. Um, the room is like really clean, well decorated. Um, like when I say decorated, I just mean that like you know, um, it's got like a few tapestries hanging. Uh, they all have like uh, either a uh, symbol or a depiction of like a humanoid head with multiple faces on each, like a face on one side and then one on the right side, one on the back, one on the back. So it's like faces Hell. like all the way around it. Um, and, uh, but that's, that's pretty much all there is. You can see that there's like a spigot that comes off of the, uh, tub at the end of the drain. Oh, this is gross. Um, alright, so 
Is there a the door? Is it is the door open? No, the door's closed. Hey, man. I'm just, yeah, they, yeah, they can see you. Okay, I'm gonna have the bat fly like over towards the door, sort yeah, of, and like, stum like quote unquote, yeah, like stumbling, yeah. like trying to find a way out, trying to make that obvious. <laughs> okay, but try to stay out of reach of this mysterious guy. I have the microphone. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear what you said. Basically, I'm trying to make it look obvious that like. I'm a flying creature that's stuck in a room. I'm gonna try to find a way out. Maybe you should open the door and let it out. Is what I'm trying to convey to the mysterious stranger and stay out of his reach. Okay. Um, so, Billy, make a insight check. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought the microphone was off. Now I just hear drums. Kevin. Damn it! <laughs> All right. Let's so. Go oh God. Um, Billy, you're able to pick up on that, like the the bats acting like a bat trapped in a room. Well, come here, little buddy. I ain't gonna hurt you. I just come on. I'm gonna try to reach and grab him. You know, like I'm gonna start chasing the bat around the room, trying to catch him with my hands. Okay. Oh, hi, kitty. <laughs> now he never does this. He's like trying to climb up my chair. Distractions. <laughs> um. The fact that Billy's having a hard time differentiating his character between his out-of-character talk is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, a matter of levels. So, Billy, like, how how dedicated is your character to, like, catching the bat? Very. Like, um, totally dedicated, yeah. So, you can, you can walk up walls and stuff, can't you? Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm quite nimbly bimbly. All right, so first things first, though, I'm gonna plug up the pipe so that the bat can't fly back up that pipe. Okay, so Shit. you know, you know, you know, there is a lever to be able to close off a, uh, a like a small hatchway uh, in the pipe. Okay, doing that. So you go over and you um, you press in a stone, and um, everybody that's in the room upstairs should make a perception check. Should I do that while I'm focused? Uh, you can't. Okay, that's what I thought. I mean, you could still roll it through the bat senses. The bat senses would have a plus one. Yeah. Donkey. I, I don't know nothing. That y'all suck. <laughs> but bats are better than both of y'all. <laughs> All right, so none of y'all hear that the that the the pipe closes. So we just like pull the lever, and I have no idea what that did. Yep. Now, you don't even see him pull a lever. He goes over and presses a brick. Oh. Do I know which brick? Um, you can make a perception to see if you could notice. through the, You'd have to make the perception through the bat, though, so again, it's just a plus one. Fuck. All right, so... <laughs> you, you know, he didn't even press anything. Huh. So I have no idea what happened. Nope. Zero. He went, okay. he went over and was continue, he was continuing to check the wall, and that's, that's not out of the ordinary. Okay. And then all of a sudden he whips around. And he's like, "Come here, bat." Hey, little buddy. It's all right. It's all right. But I'm I'm gonna lunge and try to catch him. All right. So Billy, you need to make a uh, acrobatics okay. check. Shit. And uh, an extra twenty. And then the bat will have to oppose that with a plus two. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Billy rolls a natural twenty. I knew Son it. of a. Bitch. I knew it. <laughs> So, uh, natural two opposed by natural twenty. So Billy's character like runs up the wall and up on the ceiling, and is like, "Watch out now!" And like, <laughs> <laughs> and grab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Too much, man. It's too much. <laughs> Remember all the Aussie Osborne talk you guys were talking about? <laughs> all right, that's just that's just extra funny for me and JJ. JJ plays a monk in his other game, and his his monk talks like that. He actually that was like, oh, watch out now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, so yeah, um, Billy, you, you have you now have a bat in your hand. All right, I'm gonna just keep a real firm grip on him. Does it look like he can escape? Uh, I mean, he's a bat. He could. He could. Uh, there's always a chance he could wiggle free. You're, you're pretty well, confident in your abilities, but he could wiggle free. I keep a little knife on me. I'm gonna pull it out. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, I offer this sacrifice in the name of the uh, unknowable <laughs> darkness that lies within oh and uh, to the great evil up above. Okay, I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the bat just go absolutely silent and like just like freeze in terror. 
and try to like appeal to emotions here. Makes bad eyes. Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> as much as you can do puppy dog eyes with a bat, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna stare into the, the bat's eyes like I'm transfixed and mesmerized slightly. Oh, it is a messenger from the dark god. <laughs> <laughs> what what have you to tell me? <laughs> the bat like it, it just like squeaks. <laughs> Can I, can I have? Can I purposely have it like do like Morris code or something? No, through, like squeaks. No. no. Okay. I had first thought your blood was to slake the thirst of the many many faced god of darkness, but now I understand that it courses through your veins to carry on a greater message. Tell me, little Batman, <laughs> what will you have me do? I'll, uh, I'll have it try to like wiggle, like let me go. All right, I'm gonna let the bat go. Lead me onward. Okay. <laughs> so now you're starting to sound like Dale Gribble. I'll have. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to sound transfixed as a. Lead me on. <laughs> you can't I'll do that. To, right. I'll have the bat like deliberately, not acting like stupidly. I'll have it like fly straight towards the the door, and then just like land in front of the door and just like sit there. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go over and open the door. Lead so, onward. Ha hang on one second. So, okay. uh, Billy, your character knows that going through the door is how you get out of the room you're in. It is not how you could do anything for those above. Oh well, how would I do something for those above? There is another lever. Ah, uh -huh. what's yeah. it do? Um. Oh God. <laughs> releases the butt spikes. <laughs> no. Butt spikes. <laughs> Billy, don't butt spike us. Do it. <laughs> it's, gonna be a bit. it's too late. <laughs> butt spiked. <laughs> Talk about the butt spiked. Face God of darkness. <laughs> run, run, and tell your friends that they shall soon be uh, freed from uh, their bondage. I'm gonna hit the little button that opens the the pipe to let the bat fly out of there. Okay. So. Uh. So yeah, okay. So you open you you press the brick that opens up the pipe. Um, but the bat doesn't know that it was ever closed in the first place, so there's not really much it's gonna do. Yeah, the bat's just gonna sit in front of the door. I'm gonna hit the other button. Okay. But all right. Spikes. So Aaron, <laughs> Aaron Fergarg, and uh, actually, you're just Dorian's just gonna fail it because he can't do anything. So. Shit. Aaron and Aaron and Fergarg need to make dexterity saves. Fuck. God damn it. Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this shit with advantage. <laughs> no! Doris can get butt spy. Billy, why you do this? Quick, give me butt advantage. Butt spikes are the way that my Dark Lord communicates with his brother. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh god, it's like a metal enema. Soon he will know to steely embrace. <laughs> <laughs> I right. tell you what, that is just that is beautiful the way that just it just slides right out there. Just <laughs> all right. So uh, those of you that are up in the room, which would be Fergarg, Donkey, Aaron, and Dorian, the floor collapses beneath you, uh, just like it did in the room above you. And you fall. Um, so, uh, MC, you're going to take uh, three damage. Ooh, that's rough. JJ, JJ, and Dorian take nine. That's not as bad as I was expecting to be. Yeah, well, they weren't butt spikes. It was just falling floor. Yeah, just falling down thirty feet. Don't you feel dumb? So yeah, so you got you guys fall down. You're you're uh, now in a lit room. The floor or the ceiling above you is like kind of folded down and it folds back up again. You can see that there is a pipe that comes out the side of the wall um, and leads down towards a large um, crystal tub. Uh, the tub has like a spigot attached to it. Um, and everything else I described about the room. It's really immaculate, clean, well-decorated. Um, there's a single door in this room. There's a bat sitting in front of the door. Um, and uh, and then there's the, the guy I showed you guys the picture of, and he's standing there looking at you guys. 
Uh, no, it definitely doesn't look like a mix between well, Jesus and Sam Elliott. Well, this was... <laughs> this is a lot different than I thought it was going to turn out. Me too. I'm also guessing well, I broke my concentration. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, hello there. Well, friends. actually, actually, make he he would have to make a concentration check because there's a chance that he would still be stuck in the trance <laughs> until I willingly ended it. Yeah, see, uh, like fall like catatonic onto the floor and still like you would see your body fall to the eyes of a bat. Fergarg would say, "Are you are you the one with babies?" Ah, uh, the big brains on Aaron. You okay, so me. You speak to this one. Yes, I like uh, you. Are you one with babies? This one has no offspring. What about you, you you got any kids? <laughs> it's a weird conversation. Uh, <laughs> I will really... willing, willingly end my concentration. We're gonna have we're gonna have lots of kids. <laughs> Children are a gift from the Dark Lord of Many Faces. Uh, truly, they are an expression of his greatest malice. <laughs> 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 Fergarg not know what malice mean, but Fergarg do believe kids good. They uh, they make for uh, excellent sacrifices. Oh, so uh, <laughs> oh no, oh, oh, oh Billy, no. Don donkey's like you hear that Fergarg? He said sacrifice babies. <laughs> oh my not god, gonna end well. Uh, Where is okay. there, Lord? <laughs> Where uh, that was a great cause now. It ain't like I'm just running around killing babies. Y'all got the wrong impression. Now, now, Billy, just so you understand, since you haven't been playing, uh, JJ's the only one who can understand when Donkey talks. So when I say Donkey uh, says something, you didn't hear Donkey say it. Oh, okay. You just heard a Donkey bray. <laughs> yeah, you just hear Donkey look up. At, you just see a Donkey look up at Fergar and he's like, <laughs> Uh, well, I guess Fergar's going to attack him. <laughs> Dorian... <laughs> Wait, do not try this one's hospitality. This one has done you no harm. <laughs> um, Fergarg, well, I mean, unless you stop me, Fergarg, I, I don't know why you put it in this situation, Martin, but Fergarg's not attacking. <laughs> it's okay, okay. so, Fergarg, um, so, um, first, Billy, make a insight check. To okay. see if you're going to pick up on that Fergarg is about to attack you. Fergarg, okay. I assume you're not trying to hide that fact at all. No. Can I also make a check to see if he, if I notice that he is about to attack someone again? You, you guys in the party just know, you know, for okay. by now. One day we'll have a group that's not trying to kill each other. All right, so Billy, well, you I'm don't get a beer and make some popcorn. I will be right back. <laughs> Billy, you pick up on that he is hostile, but you don't necessarily think that he is going to like make a hostile action against you. But he does okay. draw his sword and then he like he like lunges at you. So you are surprised. Uh, All right. Fucking it. Um. So, uh, Fergarg, make your attack. All right, I don't have a token, so I'm gonna have to do this. Hold on. Ugh, Fergarg, why? <laughs> I mean, I care about he... one thing, and then this guy says that like he's sacrificing babies. Yeah. He did so, not yeah. actually say that. He, says he said they, they make, make good sacrifices. sacrifices. He said they make good so... sacrifices. He didn't say that he does that. Fergarg is not a smart man. Yeah. Joker, whatever. I'm pretty sure that the line would be. Oh my god. <laughs> now, technically, when he punched all the way through me, <laughs> oh, uh, god, JJ. I realized that he missed. <laughs> JJ, you got a natural 20 against the motherfucker. <laughs> really, I'm sorry. And then I am it's going right. to, as a bonus action, cast what you get. Thunderous Smite and then you Smite all out. It's. I mean, it's what Fergarg would have done. Fergarg, your spells are not going to work. Okay. So then, I'm not going to cast. So I attempt to cast the divine or the the thunderous smite. But that doesn't work. But divine smite is like just a ability. So that will happen. Uh, and then, so it is. Billy, I'm sorry if they kill you already. Shh. It'll be that the absolute shortest character life ever. I will set a new record. <laughs> it's so not fair, though. I, I, the party. Is not I, did, I, did, I did give Billy the option as to whether or not he would share that babies might get sacrificed here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it took right. 27 damage? Alright, so that's his, that's his first attack. Nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is why you do not fuck right. with Fergar. Does a 13 hit you? 
I might no. be able to save you. Okay, so then I missed the second attack. Okay, so might be able to save at that point, Fergar Donkey like jumps over in front of him. He's like, whoa, whoa, Fergar, wait, 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 wait. This guy might be the only way out of here. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Fergar not care about getting out of here if he can maybe Fergar decide to stop him. I tell you what, man. If you let him, if you let him show us the way out of here, I help you kill him. How's that sound? Uh, I mean, smile real big. How about we kill him now and find own way out? Uh, why is he, he talking to that donkey? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's like, I, I just think it's a real bad idea for I, I, I think you should back off. Um, <laughs> I mean, for I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to not like I. I JJ, don't do I anything this. that would be against what Fergarg would do. But Fergarg, it, I mean, would, do Fer, it. Fergarg would probably be in, would probably be conflicted too because he loves his kids, but he loves his donkey. And you know, so I mean, Fergarg would do it, but I mean, hopefully somebody else has some other way to stop me. I don't. Absolutely not. Uh, maybe, I might. maybe I, might. I do. All right. So that's all I can do. We probably no, don't, don't roll initiative, don't we? It's too bad I'm not there because one of the spells I might take is yeah. Perfect. Now that now that the <laughs> surprise round is over, everybody should roll their initiative. Ah, uh, no token. Can I roll moving oh, boxes initiative? Yeah, let me get to somewhere where you guys have a token. Uh... I ain't rolling shit. I'm still on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. So slowly. Uh, well, you know what I'm working on. Aaron's assistant. Hey. How <laughs> <laughs> are you, buddy? Have you seen what else in this game? They look weird. <laughs> Have you seen how much booze I stopped on the ship? It ain't gonna matter. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> oh, that's... I forgot to do that! I forgot yeah. to do that on my character sheet. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, no, it's incredible. <laughs> All right. So you guys should have some tokens there on the map now. Boom! Dang, we are. Really make me token, please. <laughs> At some point, I was going to make tokens for you guys, and I kind of forgot. I love the donkey token, though. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, so Dorian and Arians in there. We need Fergarg and. Hold on. How do you pronounce Billy? That, Billy? Howden. Howden. Gotcha. Howden's good. Gonna... How don't get How dude? <laughs> Shit. What's your dex? Uh, sixteen. Damn it. Fucking high. That's fourteen. Yeah. All right. So how then you get to go next? All right. Um, I'm gonna cast darkness. You cannot. Oh Man. right. But I you, wouldn't know that. You don't. Yeah. You don't need to waste your spell though, as you know that this room okay. is does not have like. It, it is completely suppressed of magic. Um, okay. So you know that you would not be able uh, to yeah. cast spells in here. However... Sort of catching up on the principles of these things. <laughs> so, like, Fergar literally cares about, like, one thing right now. <laughs> I'm trying to blip it, so it's cool. This is what happens when... when <laughs> Good character concept and role play totally derail like <laughs> like the NASA's mocking and stuff. It's like this is what he would do. I mean, like our whole like purpose of being here was to to like, find the guy who's killing babies, <laughs> and here's this guy saying that he kills babies or sacrifices. Well, at least that babies make good sacrifices, yeah, so he therefore he has good reason to believe. He yeah, his own for information is correct. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, no, he's totally right. That's the one reason why we came here, and. Now it's like, oh, here's the guy who actually acknowledges that babies make sacrifices. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, I'm just gonna leave the room. Uh, and then you'll probably hear a clicking sound. And we all, all right. die. <laughs> <laughs> Fergar, you son of a bitch. Alright, so, Billy leaves the room. Dorian, your go. <clears throat> so, I'm. I'm gonna ask the donkey. The whole time was like. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Fergarg. Will you cooperate? Um, uh, Fergarg. Usually cooperate. Dorian wasn't here for the horrible mishap. What this means. All right, fine. So, god damn it! How do I? <sighs>
Um, okay, well, I mean, you're, you're gonna you have to say it out loud. Okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, oh, wait, you're using your ability. Yeah. Um, no, nothing happens. Okay. Well, <clears throat> fine then. <laughs> then audibly, I say pinamil, pinamil, pinamil. Okay. Um. So you say that out loud. Um. And you don't visibly see anything happen. Okay. Uh, then I questioningly say Fergar. Yes. Shit. <sighs> hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure what that did, but hopefully it's something good. <laughs> I yell, we have him under control. Please let us out. <laughs> Okay. Wait, do you believe that I'm under control, or are you lying? I don't exactly know what I just did, but <laughs> I have good reason to hope. Huh. Okay. Uh, Less talky-talky, more screwy of the group. I is that all you're doing, Dorian? Yeah. All right, Fergar, your turn. All right. I guess we will try and bust. So did you like close the door Shit. to like, get out or something? <laughs> no. He, yeah. just, he just left the room. I was really hoping that the that door is still open. I have no idea what that's supposed to do. OK, um, I guess we will leave the room. Okay, so as you start to go through the doorway, you slam into an invisible barrier. All right, Fergar tries to punch it. Okay, make a attack roll. Natural one. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> you you, you you punch the uh, the door frame next to it and deal three damage to yourself. All right. Sweet. Nice. All right, Aaron, your go. Uh, well, here's the good news. Uh, all I have is magic. <laughs> like, literally all I have is magic. So, um, like, I didn't even bring my crossbow with me. I can't really do much. <laughs> what? I'll just, I'll just, I'll kick the wall. Like, yeah, the just... regular wall or the invisible one? The invisible one. Okay. I'll just, I'll kick it. He should roll to see if he makes a girly key up noise. Like, eh. It's literally just a d20. <laughs> plus, plus, plus three. So, 17. It's kind of manly. <clears throat> um, let's it's, see. Seven, it's 17, not 14. And that, that's you're just kicking the wall? Yep, just kicking the wall. Alright, you kick the wall. Uh, nice. nothing, nothing happens. I, I did I I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Howden. Well, I'm thinking y'all need a minute to cool off. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. I would like to mention that I did save you from that spike pit trap. Uh, thank you. Now I'm a man of peace, but I've done been punched by a, what appears to be an ogre. He and uh, he seems to keep wanting to do it. Now, until you talk him down, I'm going to have to keep you in there. Have you killed any babies? Personally, no. I don't rank highly enough to kill babies. They save those for the guys that are in charge. I will that... sacrifice small animals I find laying around like that bat. <laughs> he's, he's, only kill he's not killed any babies, Fergar, but he knows I... who has. I tell Fergar, stand down. <laughs> Fergar, donkey's like, that means you can convert him, man. Remember about doing the good fight stuff? So, <laughs> does anything happen when I tell you to stand down? You know, you know where, no. you know where, Nothing you visible know where people that kill babies are? I believe I do know where a couple people that kill babies are. What kind of baby killers are you looking for now? You look for people who are doing it out of sacrifice? You look for people who kill babies for funsies? Or you look for people who kill babies out of some kind of, I don't know, sicko sexual fetish thing? The last two? Um, all. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I could put together a list, but I mean, I got you got to understand, I know a lot of people. Fergar, wait. 
All right. Uh, most of the paper stuff's in there, though, so I, I, we're going to be in trouble, I think. Uh, Fergog not hurt you if you get list. So you want me to make a list of everybody I know who has killed a baby? Yes. <laughs> Mark, what's my ability at? <laughs> Uh, you probably have to make like an unskilled intelligence check to remember all the names. And a lot of people. If you're gonna hide any of it, you'll have to roll a deception. Uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't we kind of, uh, you know, maybe uh, try something else here. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, all right. I don't really want to go in that room with you because uh, you're a big murderous ogre who just uh, punched my guts out my butt. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but we just kind of for gargle hand, for gargle hand his sword to uh, Aaron Dorman. I'm I'm strong enough. I can take it. I'm like right. I'll be I'll be I'll be like the the Merlin to the Arthur. I'll just I'll take Fergar's sword. You gonna hang on to that sword and not give it back to that ogre so you can stab me with it again? Oh, it's perceptibly heavy. Convince me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my strength is ten, so. Fine. I'll, gonna... I'll, I'll, here, I'll, I'll roll deception to make you think I'm weaker than I am. All right. God, still, oh my God, we just need it inspires confidence. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna drink a healing potion and uh, uh, then I'll gonna release the force book. All right, so no, what uh, what are you rolling a deception for, MC? Uh, to make the sword like to act like the sword is heavier than what it is like to make okay. it look like I'm like oh, I'm weak and pathetic. Okay, okay. So anybody who doesn't believe that can roll inside again. Said if you don't Fergard, care, Fergard don't believes that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe it. It looks. <laughs> Finn believes it. All right, so what are you what are you guys doing? Fergard I'm holding the sword. Standing back. All right, we'll see here. Okay, um, now we've got uh, uh, Ajax, uh, Rampalar, uh, Hickshwackens. I'm gonna list uh, like a half dozen baby killers that I know, the ones I like the least, okay. and uh, hand the list over. Okay. Okay. So, so you are withholding some names? Yeah. Okay. So, um, make a deception when you hand the list. Okay. Billy or uh, Fergar, when you look at the list, can you even read? No, Fergar cannot read. Okay. Uh, I, I guess you could still make an insight versus his deception. Uh, okay. I mean, Fergar would probably believe him, but <laughs> <laughs> if you're just gonna straight believe it, then straight believe it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, it's so good. It's like there's uh, some sort of uh, right, <laughs> JJ. You got to right make a call. Me. Like right before you rolled it, you said you'd believe him. But if you want, if you want to go with the roll, to go with the roll. I mean, honestly, he'd probably believe him. Like, well, I don't know. He did say that babies were good for sacrificing. Um, but, but he is given a list of names. Yeah. So, like Fergarg, Fergarg, I guess recognizes that he may not be telling the truth, but he's not going to like attack him or anything. Okay. So right there is the six craziest baby killers I know. Now, uh, here's the thing. Y'all are uh, kind of trespassing, right? I mean, you're not really supposed to be here. Yeah, well, not we, particularly. Well, we were, we were in the store up above, and then the guy dropped us down into the thing. For guard, well, I don't see any, for guard pleases. I don't see any reason to turn this into a big problem. Why don't we, uh, why don't we get up on out of here? I would love that. Yeah, I'm I'm down with that plan. That sounds fantastic. All right, donkey, you smell any babies? Donkey, like you see, donkey like sniff the air, and he's like, hmm, just blood. Now, uh, y'all might notice some uh, some delicate crown molding here. That's my work right there. Uh, now this this wainscot right here, I installed that myself. But basically, all the woodworking in this building is mine. Wow, you're, that's pretty good. That's impressive. Is, is, do I actually know the quality of woodworking? Like, do I know anything about woodworking to genuinely be impressed? Uh, I mean, you can make a un uh, unskilled intelligence check. Oh, great. Um, all but unskilled at that anyways. Actually, how do you make just an unskilled intelligence check? 
Uh, it's basically if. Oh, I see it. I found it. I found it. Unskilled. Be like right, right below the stats or some right. shit like that, isn't it? So yeah. I mean, you don't know enough about like wood carving or anything like that. So I mean, it looks pretty good to you. Oh, hey, it looks great. This is nice. This is good. Do you well, whittle? Uh, Do you whittle much? Well, this, one, <laughs> this one appreciates your compliment, but uh, no, I don't whittle much. Yeah, I usually do stuff. <laughs> uh, look over here now. <laughs> I'm just gonna go into great detail. Like it's gonna take a lot longer than it should to go through these hallways. So yeah, so uh, so Billy's able to lead you guys. We're just gonna fast forward here. Uh, he's able to lead you guys through some like stone hallways. You go up a few flights of stairs through a couple different stone hallways, um, and eventually he leads you to um, a like big like giant like double door, and that's the way out, Billy. Okay. Well, I hope y'all have enjoyed your stay here. Sorry about the pit trap thing. No, no, no. It was it was a problem at all. Um, if you, uh, I mean, if you ever want to quit this whole dark one uh, thing down here, well, this bit, you can you can always come. You know, maybe whittle some do some molding for us. We got we got a definite fixer upper. Well, I always carry the the, uh, the dark one in my heart. Uh, but I gotta wonder, you know, uh, what were y'all doing here? Killing, well, we're just trying to baby killers. I can baby. respect that. Yeah, all right. Sometimes baby killer got to get got. But uh, was that the, your only purpose? There's a lot of places to kill baby killers here. Oh, uh, what, what, uh, actually, we're, what's the name of the guy that runs the shop upstairs? <laughs> oh, this is, do I know, Martin? Uh, yeah, you know a name. Well, I don't you know, know what? I, do know I don't know that color. I specifically have a name written up for him, but yeah. You Alistair Buttercut. <laughs> yeah. Alistair Buttercut upstairs. Yeah, I could introduce him to you. Tell you what. No, 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 no. We, we're, 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 actually, we're actually a little late. We get what we got a we got we have a boat to catch. All right. Hey, uh, Fergark, pay you one hundred gold. Come stay with us and help us kill baby killers when we when we get to killing baby killers. You got the hundred gold on you? Yes. <laughs> well, I'll take it right now. I'll jump right with you. Okay. Fergark gives him a hundred gold. I'll take 100 gold and drop it on the ground. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, you like literally drop it on the ground? It's for are, the temple. They'll take it. Are you still in the temple, Billy, when you do that? Well, I'll drop it inside the door. Okay. But visibly so they can see I do it. Okay. So, yeah, you guys see 100 gold pieces drop onto the ground. Uh, each of you should make a perception check. What the hell? Hell yeah, bonus! <laughs> A pretty good name on the fly. Alistair Buttercup. Okay, so yeah, it is pretty good. good. <clears throat> I might keep it. Yes. Uh, so, um, Aaron, you noticed that like the the coins dropped a little too fast. Like it was like in almost like they were under effect of like an increased gravity kind of thing. Like as soon as they rolled out of his hand, they just went thump huh. down to the ground. I I notice it, but I don't say anything. Okay. I am so confused. <laughs> well, you gotta understand, you know, sometimes you own the gold, but sometimes gold owns you. All right, let's go talk That's to Alistair. That's surprisingly deep for a near-death experience. <laughs> 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 no, we're not gonna. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go boat. We gotta catch a boat. Yeah, grab grab stuff. We you come hang with us for a while. It'll be fun. Trust us. Okay, so you guys are heading to the boats then. Yes, finally. Yes, right. dear God, get me out of this town. So let's switch to to Vishla. Vishla, you are you have been moving your stuff. I'm not ready. I'm okay, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <clears throat> You've been moving your stuff, and you finally have settled into the house. Um, there is a slight issue of. I rolled very well. I moved my stuff excellently. <laughs> <laughs> There's a slight issue that Kevin, you might need to address. You said that there was stuff left in your house. See, si, senor. I could not find anything where you had sent me what was left in your house, and there's nothing unchecked on your character sheet to show that it was left, that it wasn't carried on you. Take note that I've never used Roll Twenty before, so I'm retarded and don't know how to work this. <laughs> uh, well, for future reference, there's a box that says carried. Yes. I see that. If, you, if you uncheck that, it will not add to your weight because it is being left at like a house or safe storage or something like that. Um, so you should, within reason, tell me what you would have left at your house. 
I know there are certain things that I gave to Joe that was off of your sheet. So okay. if you say any of those things, I'm going to say no, that wasn't in the house. Map of colony. Uh, that was on Joe's stuff. Okay, that's fine. Gold ring. Uh, that was also well. The one that you have, you have two of them marked in there. One with in parentheses with money, and the other one not. The one that has the money next to it, I told Joe about. The other one, I didn't because I didn't know what the value of it was. I think so, the thieves tools. So, and the Colby, there's tools there's a gold that. ring. Woo-hoo. Okay, thieves tools and smiths tools. I know that for sure because I was working on smithing on my downtime. The smith the smiths tools I did not put in Joe's. As I assumed those were being left in your house. But the thieves tools I assumed was useless if you didn't have them on you. So okay. I told Joe those were on you. Well, I'm not a thief, so. So, well, I might have picked that up off of a corpse during that run. I'm, I'm just off the top of my head, Martin. And then pretty much the um, the backpack. Where's the fucking backpack? What backpack? Explorer's pack. I had no necess- necessity for the Explorer's pack. We, we weren't going overnight. Okay. We I, didn't speci- I didn't specifically list the stuff that was in the Explorer's pack to Joe. I just said that you had a pack. <laughs> so, Colby, if you want to mark an Explorer's pack down, you can take that too. There's a there's a gold ring and an explorer's pack and the deed to his house. I yes. keep the deed and the ring. And, and then there was a small amount of gold. I mean, how much? How much are we talking here? When I died, I had 141 gold and 40 platinum. I have no idea how much Martin gave to Joe. Um, but within reason, I mean, there's no 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 sense in carrying all that with you. I would say he had all his gold on it if it was only that much, but that's up to you, Martin. I told Joe everything that was in the coins. Yeah. Okay. That's fine then. Okay. So I'm doing a lot better. Problem? Problem. You said I had a small problem. Okay. You said I had a, there was when I was moving the house. You said no, no, that was the small problem, and that Kevin had said he left stuff in his house, but I had nothing notated as to what was in his house because everything was marked as carried on a sheet. Problem yeah, solved. Right. Hey, I'm uncarrying stuff on my new character. I'm playing better, I promise. Where are you leaving them? On the boat, in my captain's quarters, where they belong. Okay, yeah, make sure. you, you, have a, you have a room at the guild house, too, so it's it wasn't a stupid question. You're right, I do have a room. I don't trust those people. <laughs> they hired an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> Savage! <laughs> So are you guys all going back to the ship, or are you going to go get Fishla first? I figured he'd need us at the boat. You guys never told him that you guys were leaving on a boat. Ah, shit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to the boat. Bergar goes to the boat. Yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't... Here's what'll happen, is we're going to get to the boat, and we're going to be like, where's Vishla? And then we're going to be like, fuck, somebody go see if Vishla's tall. Well, before you guys get to the boat, we got to switch to Kevin. So, Kevin, while you and Adira are there, like with the crew of the boat and everything, loading up the supplies and things like that. Um, there is a gnome that, like, approaches you and he's like, um, I'm looking for the captain of this ship. The gnome has got, like, a bald pate. He's got, like, uh, like a big, like, fur of, like, gray, white hair around the sides and back of his hair. Uh, but he's he's dressed more or less like an adventurer, but, like, more like somebody who is of nobility that is trying to be an adventurer because his adventurer's clothes are really nice uh, and look like they haven't really seen any use. Um, okay. And he comes up and he's like, he's like, I'm, I'm looking for the captain of this ship. Could somebody point me in that direction? So I'm up by the, the steering wheel and I'm, uh, I am shout out, I'm like, Oi! I'm the captain! Why just to take it all be down there in ha- half a nutshell? And I hop over the banister and I grab some rope and I'm sliding down. I make it really theatric. And then, like, I try to look, I try to look pizzazzish, like when I land in front of him. But I've got this giant groin itch, so I'm like constantly itching at my crotch. <laughs> well, that means that you and Adira did not do anything. I was gonna see if that happened, but if you're scratching <laughs> your crotch, he's smart enough to be like, no. Well, I did sleep with kobolds. <laughs> oh. Fergar goes and finds the rum. You might have the crotch rot. 
All right, so um, all right, so you you get down there, and he's like, uh, "Oh, uh, you're you're the captain of this ship." Uh, he says, um, "He says my name is Nit Rom," and he says, oh, "And um, he says I I am looking to to hire a captain to ferry me and a few of my men um, to a place off the coast. Uh, I had uh, word from the harbor master that you all were setting out shortly." So I'm scratching my junk in front of him, and I'm like, "How many mates are you talking about?" I uh, just just You're talking two, about five, two, just, three, just, just two. So you and two other people. Yes, yes, that's correct. Will you shake on it? He says, "Um, I'll uh, I'll give you gold on it." Hmm. Well, now there's a problem there. You see, because this ship belongs to me, but I belong to. Uh, what is Rowan belong? Who is you I don't should, want to say it's the Dawn Council because it's not the Dawn Council. It's the Lotus Dragons, but you should probably make a, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, fuck, I don't even know what that would be. Insight? Wisdom? Yeah, probably an insight check before you say anything. Okay, so you know Thank that the, the Lotus Dragons are kind of a secret group. And it's not usually a good idea to be talking about them out loud. But I work for a higher power, which is much higher than you and I. Kind of like a god figure, you know what I mean? And he says, oh, well, you know, um, I'm sure that, uh, you know, that you'll kick their portion up to them for my service, for the services you will provide me. So let's talk portion, you know, twig and berries, meat and potatoes. How much gold are we talking How about? How much gold are we talking about? He says, um, he says, well, um, well, um, why are we, why are, that's Billy, it's gotta be, yeah, say, why are we it's, echoing all of a sudden? Oh, he set his mic down right by the thing. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna mute him for a second. <laughs> uh, there, now he's back. Yay. Welcome back. Right. So, um, he says, well, um, I'm not really sure what a voyage like this would cost. And he says, um, I I'll show you on the map where I'm going and you can tell me what the proper figure is. Why don't you show me on your map? Okay, so uh, he takes out like a, a map from his pocket, and he has a couple of them in his pocket, and he start and he un he unrolls one, and it looks like this. The the markings are not on there though. This is just something I'm building for you guys as you guys go through there. <laughs> and he says. Um, he says I'm needing to go, and he points. He says uh, I'm needing to go right here. And where are we? Wait, let me make sure that's right. That might not be right. The colony? Uh, where are the colony? Hang on, let me make sure that I was right on that. Yeah. So yeah, he says, I need to go right about here. The purple one? Okay. Yeah, where my, my blippy is. So I say, oh, that's a that's a rather long uh, journey. Can I say off the top of my head, like, guesstimation, uh, knowledge, really, like, how long it's going to take? I don't want well, to bullshit. You know that you have to go past there anyway to be able to get where Aaron described that you guys need to go. Because you basically are going to go all the way around the east side of this and then travel down through those little, do those little dots of islands there. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. So, um, essentially, as far as, like, the big map goes... Um, where is there? So you know this map is we got to where the colony is marked and where you're going for Adira's <laughs> village. Mm -hmm. And so like if you zoom in closer to where like the colony is, like he's basically wanting to go right. Uh, That's it. Right about there. Can you see that arrow I just made? I, I, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, so he's wanting to go right about there. So, you know, you basically have to, like, go through uh, and all the way around in order to come down towards where the village is. Sure. So I know it's so, on the way, but he doesn't. Do. No, that's so, correct. Uh, so just between you and I, just for uh, role-playing state, because I need to know this meta, do I know how long it's going to take, how many stops are going to be required? Um, stops are completely up to you. There, if you guys stock up properly here in the colony, you shouldn't have to make any stops at all. Um, but the travel time is probably going to be about uh, like two days. Two days. 
give or take. You know, depending on how well your roll is for your navigation tools, you might be able to shave some off of that, but somewhere between one and two days. All right, so pan the paper out. And I sit there and I'm stroking my face, playing with my uh, my sideburns, and I'm doing like this finger counting thing, carrying the one, uh, you know, just twiddling a lot. Look like I'm doing like a lot of math. And I look at them and I go, "Well, Mike, I'll tell you what. Today's your lucky day. If you're willing to wait just a few more hours for the rest of me mates to get to the boat, then I'll take you to where you need to go at the low low rate of, mm, let's say." 750 gold. He, uh, he like, start, he like coughs and then like starts laughing and he's like, oh, I was led to believe you were a reasonable captain. I'm sorry that I wasted your time. Well, you know what they say, usually the person who shoots out the first price is at a disadvantage. You got a better price for me? As you know more about shipmate than I do? He says, well, I admittedly don't know much about ship rates, but I did ask the harbor master for what a standard fare would be um, for ship passage. And uh, he told me that uh, the general service cost for ship passage would be, um, let's see, about a, silver, uh, about a silver piece per mile. So you mean to tell me that that dirty shipmate, uh, shipwright, sent you to me telling you that it's a silver piece for every mall and didn't tell you how many malls it is? He says, well, he said, I mean, I didn't show him the map. It's kind of something I don't want to be sharing with everyone. Uh, and he says, but, you know, I'm not an idiot. I know approximately how far it's going to be. Um, that's, but I asked when the next ship was departing within this day. I'm willing to wait for you and your compatriots. That's no problem. Um, but um, I, I won't be swindled and at for you know hundreds more than what it should cost. So if you don't like my price, then won't you shoot me a price that's reasonable to you, and I'll roll around in my head and see if it's worth my time. And he says, uh, if you're if you're first figure is 750 gold I, I can already tell that uh, I won't be able to afford your service he says my my offering would be a spit in your face spit in my face well if you're going to spit in my face you might as well work on my boat so you tell me how much this would cost and I'll tell you how much you're going to work on my boat while we're going to take you to where you're going he says oh I'm not working on your boat well, don't worry there'll be so there. he gave me a list of three other ships that are leaving this day I'll find somebody else who's more reasonable thank you Three other ships. Now wait a minute. You tell me what ships they are. Okay. I'll so, tell you that. Where's your coin, Kevin? If you're going to actually try to like stop him, you need to actually make a persuade a persuasion roll because he he's offended by your price. Okay. So he stops and he says uh, he's like, well, I don't know what they're offering. I haven't stopped to talk to them yet. But he lists off like two other ships that are departing from the colony today. So I spit at the first one and I go, that one's nothing more than a fishing boat. In the second boat, I'll uh, I'll stroke my face and go, hmm. Now that one, that one might actually give you a run for your money. I tell you what, you go to that boat, you see how much they'll charge you. You come back to me and I'll I'll cut you. I was gonna say fifty quid, but that's not right. <coughs> I'll I'll cut him into fifteen silver pieces. How's that sound like a voyage? Um, I mean I'll ask him, but again. I don't think that that he's that anybody is going to quote me a price nearly as high as you did. He says I could buy I could buy a small enough ship for that price. I shrug. Um. So he he says as uh, I'm sorry to have wasted your time. Thank you. Also, for the record. Paladins, when they smite and on a crit, their smite damage is also doubled. So this would have been my roll. Billy's dead. <laughs> oh my god. Dead. Actually, how much damage would you have done? That much. Oh, I gotta look. Would it have killed you, Billy? Fifty-seven. I'm still trying to get to it. And that's here. without 57. the that's without the thunderous smite that I would have cast. Yeah, that would have killed me. But that's One. also a pretty high roll. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a crit and a high roll. It's a crit at that. Yeah, you didn't roll lower than a three on any of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, so um, so yeah, he he totters off, Kevin. I'm sorry, man. Like you, you're asking me to shoot numbers off the top of my head. 
<laughs> Price gouging. I was trying to make Mitchell proud. Well, I didn't ask you for any question that wasn't in the PHP. <laughs> you could have looked and seen what the services for for ship passage is. Is that what this is? Is uh -huh. that what this is? Uh huh. You're you're supposed to be the seafaring <laughs> captain. I assumed you knew how to sail a ship. Hell yeah, I know how to sail a ship, but I also know how to turn a profit, so meh. Apparently you don't. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. 10% of nothing is... Okay. <laughs> I hope your ship wrecks off the fucking... The, the coastline, you bloody uh, wanker. So, uh... Kevin, you guys just missed a huge score. <laughs> He was gonna lead. He was gonna lead you to like a ruin and ask you guys to like help him like excavate it and give you a share of the profits. I was gonna yeah. slit his throat, teabag his corpse when we were done. Um. So, all right. So then you guys get back to the ship, and everybody's there except for Vishla. Oh, before we board, uh, I'm gonna like run a finger down my face like this. As I do so, my face is going to sort of rip apart and reform into something else. Um, that doesn't look like Sam Elliott. Yeah. Um, oh, hey. I'll be like, this one didn't enjoy his previous format. It was a bit hackneyed. Yes, this format will suffice. Remember this face uh, for this one. We'll be wearing it for some time. Thank you. All right. So then, what do you what do you change your look to look like? Um, I think I want to look like a sort of a swarthy ship's deckhand guy. Okay. Somewhere in his like early twenties. Uh, okay. So just like really kind of a passable sort of like who is this guy I don't care kind of guy. So you guys all visibly notice this like he just like his skin rips and reforms and he now looks like somebody else completely different. Uh, I sound like somebody else too. So. <laughs> I uh, I'd like dead stop and I just look at you and I'm like that is a very neat trick. I'm Thank just gonna you. go like I'm fucking done with this world. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> how did? What was your reason for saving us from that pit trap? This one's reasons are the reasons of the universe, and the reasons of the universe are the reasons of the many-faced God. So the thread that runs through this one and the one that was before uh, shall continue through you. Oh. That clears it up. Yeah, that, 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 that answers literally every one of my possible questions. When you put it that way. <laughs> Understand this. No. I have looked directly into the void, and the things I have seen on this side are invariably lighter, like you. So I follow the shiny things around. Huh. Ship's Passage 139. I mean, I can relate to that to some degree. I have seen some dark shit. <laughs> like, I just saw a bunch of darkness. Excellent. You and I will have much to talk about. The many faced God does love the darkness. Mm. Okay. It so you guys are walking place. up to the ship. You guys should each make a perception check. Except for Colby, because nobody told him that you guys were leaving. Where the well, fuck is the ship right at? We will find Colby before we leave. What are you looking for, Kevin? I don't notice any of Discern where our ship's ride costs. Uh, if you look down in the bottom right hand corner of um, page. Uh, one fifty nine. You're gonna start the very, this stuff, man. The very last part of it is for services, and it says ships passage one silver piece per mile. I don't know how many miles that is. What if it was seven hundred fifty miles? Well, that would still be seven hundred fifty silver pieces, not gold pieces. Did I say gold? I meant silver. <laughs> you said gold. <laughs> Did I say a hundred? I meant a thousand. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Did you? Was that an honest slip, Kevin? Like, did you mean silver pieces? Sure. Well, no. You already told us what it was for. I'm not going to admit to that. All right. So I, tell you, like, I honestly didn't know like how many miles, how much it was going to cost. Like, if I were to known that it was one silver piece per mile, then I would ask you how many miles. I mean, that's what I was trying to get at. Is like, do I know how much is this is going to cost? Because okay. I wanted to shoot an honest price. We might be able to save it. Um, so, mystery guest and Michael Christie sees as you guys are like coming up to the ship. You see like a like uh, like an elder gnome. Like he like uh, is like conversing with the captain, and he like stomps off. 
And as you guys are like approaching the ship, he's like, "Oh, I wouldn't book passage on that one. It's really expensive." <laughs> for, uh, for is it really? Doesn't notice anything and goes straight said, to the room says, storage. Yes, yes. He's tried to charge me seven hundred and fifty gold for going maybe a hundred miles. That is outrageous. I can't believe it. I'm just gonna walk on the boat. Much of a concept for money. I'm just gonna walk on the boat and I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk up to uh, to Finn and I'm be like, "That guy's saying you're charging a lot of money for this boat ride. Did he pay it?" And I'm just gonna make like <laughs> over exaggerated hand gestures, like I'm agitated. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at him with this queer look on my face and I'm gonna be like, "What do you mean? I said 750 gold." Yeah, did he pay it? I wanted some. No, some of a bitch told me it was too high. I tried oh. to haggle him down, but he wouldn't quote me a price. Eh, fuck him. <laughs> I feel like just staring you guys. I'm just crashing my crotch. I'm just. I'll. I'll just walk away after that. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Um, so. so do I? Do we see? Is everybody here? Do I? Do I see Vishala? Everybody but Vishala is here. God damn it! I don't notice this. I'm and gonna have to go see Ela. You can. You Michael. You can make a uh, insight check. Insight. Bam. You realize you never told Vishala that you guys were, like, leaving the colony. Oh, crap. Fergar and Donkey are apparently not there either. Or are you doing that on the no, ship? No, on the ship, yeah. Okay. On the, to the room stores. Is, is Dorian on the ship? I am on the ship. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna give instruction. I'm be like, Dorian, take care of this ship. Make sure that damnable ogre and his fucking donkey don't drink all the rum. I've got to go to the healer. And I just um, walk off captain. the boat and I'm scratching my throat. Cap, cap, captain. That I'm pretty sure that that task is actually literally impossible. You do your damnedest and don't give me any excuses. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm scratching my cross the whole time. Like, I've got to go to the bloody healer. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to look at Dorian and I'll be like, I'm going to go find Vishala. Don't leave without us. Roger. Leaving without you. you. Got it. <laughs> no, <All right>. no, no, no. <laughs> Stay and no singing. <laughs> uh, so, Kevin, uh, since you're basically role playing it all out, and I didn't actually give you a disease, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna charge you anything to have the disease removed. But you, you go back into the colony. You're able to find a, a temple that like will remove your disease for you, and they'll give you some. They'll preach to you about how you shouldn't sleep with, you shouldn't sleep cross species, and, and like, you know. Uh, you know, wrap it and all that good stuff. I should have a predetermined disposition against kobolds from now on. That's up to you. That that was the start of what got you killed last time, but you can definitely have that if you want. I'm not going to be hateful towards them, but I'm going to be like, dirty motherfuckers. I'm going to follow <laughs> Dorian around for a while. I kind of like what I see here. Okay, he's basically just uh, Dorian. Unless you say otherwise, he's pretty much just tending to the ship and making sure that it's ready to like take off. Fergar and Donkey are are cracking open a barrel of rum, taking a drink, moving on to the next barrel before they even finish that one. Is Wes not here anymore? Yeah, I don't hear. Him. Yeah. No, I don't hear him either. Yeah, either Wes, right. you hear type something. All right, so um, so MC, you're able to find Vishla. You did know that he was moving into uh, Baron's home because he did tell you that. Sweet. So you're able to find him pretty easy. Hey, Vishla. Hey. He's, got, he's got two kobolds and a giant spider following him around. <laughs> Classic. Um, is this something they can finish? We we got a we got a boat to catch. What? Where yeah, we we're we're going to Adir's village. Wait, we you mentioned this. Why? We're gonna go meet some locals. Why? And try to get some trade going. I've got a cart and everything. Okay, but I have to move all this stuff, or I'm gonna get in trouble. You're pretty much moved. It's been hours. No. Huh. Well, then I'm just hanging out. Your painting? Some wine, some mead. Sure, let's go. Come on, Arthur. Ambrosius. Ambrosius? Arthur's like, adventure! And like, Arthur comes up to you, uh, Aaron, and he's like, 
Uh, and he's like, It is an honor to adventure with you again, Aaron. You're looking good, Arthur. He says, I learned to speak like you now. I can tell you're very good at this. Arthur good at everything, but yes. Meepo the well, Pepe speaks common too, right? Yes. Okay. Meepo the Pepe. Meepo the Pepe? Where did Wait, you I gotta ask him a question. Like, are you still torturing that dude in the painting? Not at the moment. Like, <laughs> have you forgotten about him, or is it just no? Kind of like, you weren't here last time. He died. Yeah, he died. <laughs> oh, He's still in the painting, but he died. He starved to death. Uh, Kevin, you weren't here last time. They found out that they like you guys had been gone from the colony for like two weeks. Oh shit! It, even, even though it only felt like three days, you'd been gone for like two weeks. Yeah. And like the last time he was in the, the painting, he like cut shit off of his face and like tied uh -huh. into a tree or some shit. Uh huh. <laughs> bastard. That's Oopsie. Up. Okay, so, so now we finally got everybody wrangled up at the boat. Finally, herding cats. Okay. I can't. Yeah, so you're like, um,. So you guys got every everybody. Make sure that you, if there's anything that you're buying for the journey or anything, that you do it now. Uh, I should um, probably actually pick some more feed up for the horse. Yes, Fergarg will go by. Um, ask Fergarg, ask Donkey what his favorite type of food is. Donkey's like, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I like oats and uh, barley. All right, Fergarg goes and buys two months of oats and barley, however much that is. Okay. Uh, I just planning to I finally finished reading all the spells and picking one too. Uh, let's see. I think there is feed li listed. Yeah, feed per day for a donkey is five silver piece per day. So, two, <coughs> so well, fifteen gold a month, so thirty gold. So, full for gold buys thirty gold worth of food. Okay, that's pretty heavy too. Is it's ten pounds per day? Doesn't bother for a garg. Takes it <laughs> I don't even know if Fergar could lift do, all that too much. Do I notice? Do I notice as he brings all his fucking feed onto the boat? Oh well, yeah, you're the you're the well no because you're here busy getting uh, cured of your venereal disease. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Fergar My role play. Thank you. Fergar <laughs> asked somebody to write donkey only on it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the deck hands will we'll write it on there for you. We can Fergar take that. takes the bag to someone else. And he's like, what's this say? He's like, uh, I can't read, man. It Everybody says donkey. It to, someone takes it to someone else. That can't, eventually you find someone that can read. What's it say? Yeah, it says donkey. Yeah, it says donkey only. Okay. And here's your sword. That deck can't speak. Martin, is, is now a good time to, to inquire about my uh, the last card that I played? Nope. Okay. You played it. There's nothing on yeah. the card that says when you'll get it. Just says that it's going to happen. Yep. Uh, I have it written in, but you haven't attacked anything with any with your weapon since then, so you have not had a chance to notice that anything's changed. I don't remember if I said rapier or dagger. Rapier? It was your uh, main hand weapon. Okay. Alright, so... Um... Vishla and MC, yep. as you guys are getting back to the ship... Make perception checks. My, my player's handbook bit the dust. Oh, oh no. no! I might be having that problem with mine, too, actually. What did yeah. you do? It's, it, well, so there it's a known that the first print had like bad glue, so they'll replace it for free. Oh, will they? Yeah, I actually just experienced the same thing. My book's effed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm honestly going to... I'm going to take mine and make it like a spiral bound book at like, you know, like a FedEx nice. or something. Uh, do you have, if you get the replacement, do you got to send them the old one? Uh, probably. Hmm. Yeah, a spiral notebook's not a bad idea. Can you take it somewhere and get it professionally laminated? Um, I don't know about that. There might be legal issues. Um, I don't know. But I'm just I don't know go. that I don't know that there could be legal issues because you're not asking anything to be replicated. Like you just have these it's documents, true. you want them laminated and put Lawyer in. Lawyer here. What what was the question? Taking um a book that is so like my player's handbook is broken, and I want to go to like FedEx or a Ginkos and make it like a spiral bound book that I'm gonna personally use. You're totally legally allowed to do that. You purchased it. It's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. So. Um. 
but yeah, that's whether or not they'll not, do it, I don't know. Yeah, if you're yeah, not King replicating goes. it, you should be fine. All right, even so, if you're replicating it, they, I don't think they can refuse. I mean, legally, they do. Really? They're yeah, not legally when, required to. Like you're when allowed I, to do that under the law. When I tried to like get the Doomcon magic cards made, they wouldn't. Uh, they would not do anything with the like reverse side that had like the magic, um, like that looked like the back of a magic card because they were like, you know, that's not your property. I'm like, the hell it is, and I bought the card, and they're like. They're wrong. I mean, they're they're protecting themselves because they could get into a situation where somebody's selling it and then they're blamed for facilitating it. But legally speaking, you can do that and they can do that. Yeah. But anyway, you can definitely get it spiral bound. Cool. Okay. So everybody got their stuff that they want to purchase for their journey? Yes. Yes. I pretty much already had everything I want. I forgot something. When I come riding up to the boat, I come riding up on a steed. Okay. Um, you bought, you bought a horse? No, I did not. Um, <laughs> um, but I need to figure out what kind of steed I would have. Anybody have any suggestions? Um, donkeys are pretty awesome. <laughs> Besides JJ. <laughs> One of those big Budweiser horses. We Clydesdale. Yeah, like, yeah I mean... Clydesdale. <laughs> no, is there anything cool besides a horse that I can ride? Oh. <laughs> Other than a horse, I'm I'll, all I have is a PHP. So what about like a dire wolf? Uh, no. Right? Can I ride like a? What? Skeleton what is not allowed dragons? Damn it! What? Yeah, I don't even know what this is. What this is? Fine steed. Dire wolves are legit though. Um, I mean, you are in a <laughs> you're in a land of dinosaurs, man. <laughs> so can I can I summon a fucking dinosaur? Um, let me look at the spell, but or I'm some sort of large. I'm thinking like, probably, not a dragon, but lizard. Uh, what see. about a nightmare? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> what are, what, are, what, what Dude, CR that would be nightmares. fucking metal. <laughs> Way too high. <laughs> yeah, if, if you want a dinosaur, Colby, I would say you could probably summon a dinosaur. Yes. All right. I'm, riding, be... a, I'm riding a fucking dinosaur. It's a oh. it's a uh, it's a fiend dinosaur. So, so let me get this straight. Like, you came riding up on a dinosaur. I was walking with you. You obviously left me at some point to bust out your dinosaur and make your grandiose entrance. And you show up on a dinosaur? Or you hung I'm out for 10 minutes while I summoned it before we left. But yeah. So it has uh, to be, does it have to be large, Colby? Uh, no. It just it just says a form that I choose. War, war horse, pony, camel, elk, mast, if your DM might allow other animals. Speed has the statistics of the chosen form, but it is celestial, fair, fiend, your choice. And it has the the statistics and characteristics. So basically, it's within your discretion. But anything that's that sized, that's not overpowered for some statistical reason, I should be able to, to ride. Velociraptor. Okay. Uh, that's probably too small. <laughs> Whatever. They're the size of like small small horses. Hey, no, because... Velociraptors are small. Yeah, just because Chris Pratt can ride one doesn't mean that they aren't. <laughs> Chris Pratt was riding on a motorcycle next to him, and they were like eye level. So. What about like a Utah Raptor? There or, are uh, there are threads about that. By the way, Pterodactyl. Dinonychus. Um, giant lizard, giant bat. So let's say <laughs> it is. So Velociraptors were one point six feet tall. Yeah, they, wow. they're supposed to be pretty small. Yeah, the the ones in the movie are probably Dinonychus. The right. the movies have lied to me all of my life. Yes. Yeah, like Where's Hollywood. All right, so Colby, I'm gonna say that you summoned a Allosaurus. Nice. God, Whoa! Dude, really Allosaurus are pretty big, bro. Yeah, they are. They're was, no bigger. They're no bigger. Say, than I don't spell this, but I'll just click on. They're, right. they're no. They're no bigger than a than a horse. All right. Well, then me, Aaron. Oh, they're not even the right size one. Arthur, Meepo, the Pepe, Ambrosius, and I come riding up. Uh, and I'm riding on a fucking allosaurus. Meepo is probably riding Ambrosius now. Wait, which wait, which one is this? Oh yeah, that's right. Meepo is gonna try it. Motherfucker looks like a T-Rex. Those An things are, Those things are small. Yeah, I think it's. Are you looking at raptors or allosauruses? Well, I'm looking at the thing that was linked in the chat. That's me. That's a raptor. That's uh, a dinonychus. Here we go. The dinonychus. Yeah. yeah. This is what I'm talking about. O s a u r u s. Allosaurus. That's pretty badass. Yeah, Allosaurus is dope. Man, if you want to get some serious wood, check out the link I, I put on here. <laughs> yep. 
number five in the picture of the scales. Dude, and it's like teeth, like it has like those like exterior teeth. Super cool. sick. Jesus. Uh, so okay, so uh, I'm just I'm not gonna be able to keep up with Colby on his <laughs> awesome thing with his little entourage. So we're just gonna walk up on the boat, and then like a couple minutes later, I'll come walking up, just looking totally just like resigned. Just I'm really fucking done with this I'm, world now. I'm still waiting for Colby's perception check. Oh right, sorry, I got distracted. It wants to eat you. Okay, so visually you notice. So you you got you and MC are walking up to the boat. And this is this is the last chance I'm gonna throw try to throw the hook out here. Um, <laughs> it, you, you, you see, um, you see like you know a like gnome that's like all like old and he's like he's he's going bald, got furry like bushy white hair around the sides and back and everything. And he's like, "Are all of you captains the same? I mean, seriously, I just want to be able to get to my destination, and I'm willing to cut you in on the treasure." <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Are you trying to get on this ship? He says, "There's my bitch. Look. <laughs> There's my bitch. Bitch." He he looks over at that ship and he's like, "I was trying to get on that ship," and he's like, "But that captain on that ship is charging ridiculous amounts." And he's like, "This captain is not charging ridiculous amounts, but is like wanting a higher share of the cut that I'm offering for the job once we get there." Which one is our ship? I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> He's talking about two one. different ships. Which one is our ship? The eight, our like, ship is the one that's charging a lot. Yeah, charging that's, charging a lot. An, that's charging an outrageous fee. Like, Listen, seriously outrageous. I, I have to keep to up the size of the boobs very, very, very well. I'm sure we can work something out, my good man. You said, you did say treasure, right? He says, oh yes, uh, the, there's a there's an, uh, a ruin there of the old people that is along the way, and I, I uh, he kind of looks around, looks at, he's, he's, he's Imagine Joe as an as a gnome. He, he like kind of looks around a little fidgety, and he's like, "I I happen to come across a map that uh, that that will lead us to the ruins, and uh, and 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 there there should be vast treasure there. And I'm willing to to cut in. Uh, I'm willing to pay my passages to get there. And anybody on board that wants to uh, assist me in uh, excavating it will get an even share. Even share." <coughs> One of, for you, one for me, one for Aaron, one for yes, everybody. That, that that's that's the way adventuring works, right? Everybody goes splits evenly. How about if I get you free passage on the ship and you take a half share? No, God damn it, every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I am only in jest, sir. Come, let's go. I'll get you on the ship. And he's like, wait, 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 no, no, no. Are you saying that that it will be equal shares? Yes, yes, yes. Come, come. And he flips off that captain and like follows along behind you. I'm still riding the allosaurus, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you like had to yell at each other yeah. to talk. <laughs> Other people around you seem to be put off by that, but the gnome for some reason does not. Like it, he's just like walking along next to the dinosaur, like it's like a normal thing. Also, I'm still in my fine ass clothes from when I was Baron Coral Demarcus, so I'm riding the allosaurus in really nice clothes. Okay. So. Uh... <laughs> So so yeah, um, so you get back to the ship, and he was like, and he's like, yeah, I'm I'm not going to like go on this ship for more than a hundred gold. All right, well, I'm gonna go talk to uh, Finn. Finn, 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 Finn. What what did you do with this man? Let's let him on the boat. What can we charge him a reasonable rate? Am I back from my uh, doctor's visit? Yeah. So the first thing out of my mouth is he gods, man. What the devil is that thing that you're riding on? Why the hell is it on my boat and dribbling on my planks? Oh, right. I jump off of the Allosaurus and I look at him and I say, go wait in the corner and I'll come over later. He understands hey. comments. So. I'll come over I, later. I, like, do I hey, feel shocked at all that he's like telling this reptilian creature to go sit in the corner and it's like... I, I can't tell you what your character would feel. I think I'd feel pretty shocked if somebody was commanding a dinosaur. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of like... Just, just to point out for everybody, Mark, do you have stats for an Allosaurus? It's in... Yeah, yeah, it's in the Monster Manual, but um, uh, I would have to, like... I don't have, like, a copy-and-paste version, so I'd have to send it to you at work where I do have well, a Well, I just need to know what its intelligence is. Uh, f two. Okay, so <laughs> my Allosaurus is, is six. Okay. 
So he yeah. understands common and he goes and sits in the corner because he, he obeys my commands. So anyway, so, I continue talking to him. My first reaction to seeing this outsource is like, I literally like jump and I'm like, what the fuck is that thing doing? <laughs> <laughs> Meepo's like, Meepo's like, that's not thing. That's Allosaurus. <laughs> he says, yeah, he says, I, he says, no, <laughs> it's a freaking raptor thing. His name is Greg. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Okay. Holy so, hell, man. Colby, you, you, know, you noticed that Meepo, like, he, was, he started to say something after he said that it was Allosaurus. But then when you say it's Greg, he just kind of like, oh. <laughs> What the devil are you thinking? Coming aboard my ship with that daggone dinosaur, looking all like a bloody wanker, dressed in your pompous twat clothes. Look, forget the dinosaur. The last time that you, or that's the only time that you've seen a dinosaur, Kevin, was the one that attacked Fergarg in the caves. Right? Those things are dangerous. That thing will bite your wanky off. I swear to God, I've seen it before. In fact, I think it was one of these that attacked Fergarg in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been. Listen, he obeys my commands. Do not worry about it. Let's get this gentleman on the boat so that we can go get some treasure. Okay. First of all, you give me your word that that dinosaur there is going to be on its best behavior. No fight for the dang on the uh, ogre. And then did you say treasure? I yell over, Greg, stand on your hind legs. Okay. Isn't he already standing on his hind right. legs? <laughs> yeah, like, like stand there and look scary. <laughs> Greg, wag your tail. Ooh, crash and hits the yeah. mass. He wags his tail. <laughs> some, some, over. Crates, some crates get knocked over. Some. <laughs> Greg, all right, all right, all right. Lay down. <laughs> now you said treasure. <laughs> yes, this gentleman says that you wanted to charge him some exorbitant rate and wouldn't let him on the ship. He's trying to take us to treasure. Well, the bloody wanker wants three people. He's going like a hundred plus miles. I thought maybe we'd make a better coin off him. He didn't say a bloody word about treasure. Well, he knows where some treasure is and we'll make money off of him for the passage. We just have to charge him a reasonable rate. I'll tell you what. Since we're going around the way that he said he was going anyways, I thought like we could gouge him a little bit. You go Listen. tell him, mate. Whatever you need to tell him. That's get him on the boat. Take us to this treasure and then we'll sort him and his crew out. Me, catch your bit. Like where your head's at. I go back to the gnome. I go back to the gnome. All right, we've worked something out. What is Martin I or 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 Kevin? What is the reasonable rate out of the PHP? So it is one silver piece per mile, and uh -huh. based off of the better knowledge that I could discern from Martin, we're going to roughly about a hundred, a hundred and twenty-five miles mm -hmm. to where he needs to stop. Now our voyage is going to continue around from the colony to Adira's village, and we're going to go around this tip here, which is where he wants to go. But for his passage would be 100 to 125 miles. For him, per but he's got, he's got two people with him, so so you're basically... He's, per person. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. a silver piece per mile for about 100 miles. So, you know, it's basically be about 10 gold per person. Yeah. Now, I didn't hear him say that he wasn't going to spend more than 100 gold, so... Use that to whatever knowledge you may need to. Right. All right, all right, all right. I have spoken to the captain, and he and I know each other very well, and I have worked out for you and your compatriots a rate of 25 gold each for the entire trip. He says, uh, that, he says that seems reasonable, uh, much more reasonable. Um, he says, um, I shall draw up the contract. Very well. Um, so he, like, he sits down on a crate on the docks and, like, starts, like, drawing up a contract, and, like, uh, a few minutes later he comes back with it and, like, hands it to you and he says, uh, have your captain sign this, and I believe we have an accord. Very well, I take it, I read it over, does it say what it's supposed to say? Yeah, there's, there's nothing shady about it, it basically says that, you know, uh, the one thing, I guess, make a perception check. Oops. Uh, Twenty-five. Okay. The one thing yes. that catch, the one thing that catches your eye is that uh, you know he states that um, the twenty-five gold per uh, passenger will be paid upon arrival at the destination, um, and and then it goes on to detail that um, that each 
Uh, each um, individual who wishes to join him on his expedition into the ruins would receive an equal portion of any spoils that are um, uncovered there. This is all fine and good, sir, but uh, you've got your you're paying on arrival. Yes, that's usually pretty standard. Well, except that we don't know, no offense, I've never met you before, we don't know for a fact that where we're taking you isn't just to your cousin's house. I, we need some sort of assurance up front. Can you pay half up front? Make a persuasion. He's better than uh, shit lying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, really says, good. he says, that is a very, very uncommon practice. And he says, and you look like you're one of a noble family, so I would expect you to just be able to look at me and know my station and be like, oh, he's good to his word. But if it will make you feel so much better that I can see that you are obviously gallivanting around with brigands, he says, I will pay your, you know what? I'll just pay the whole part up front. He that says, "If it like will... a natural twenty persuasion." No, you per you persuaded him. Persuasion <laughs> doesn't make you. You, su you succeeded with failure. <laughs> no, you succeeded. Like you, your persuasion was to persuade him to pay it. He's it not was a only. Pompous clothing. He's not only paying half up front. He's paying the whole thing up front. That's a natural twenty. He also insulted me and my compatriots. But he paid. He did. Paid. You were you're not persuading him to be to be nice. You were persuading him to give the money. All right. Well, I hold out my hand. Very well. We have an accord. Now he says, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I think you've misunderstood me again. That has to be signed by your captain. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And yes, I have yes. to give this money to your captain as part of that agreement. Yes, 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 yes. He says, yes, yes. And, and, and I will pay you a broker's fee for sorting this mess out, of course. Man, this guy's oh, a yes, awful okay. to the extreme. Seriously. I assume he scratches out the provision in the contract. I'm a lawyer. Don't do this to me in a game. Yeah. Okay. So I take it over to Finn and get him to sign it, and I say that we'll be receiving it all up front. No funny business in this here contract. You know how much I hate contracts. Reading in bloody mess like this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, got it upside down. <laughs> Just hey, sign it. I've read it. All right, all right. So I go ahead and sign it. All right, a dollar for every time I had to say that. Shut your mouth. So uh, he comes on board with his two men um, and like his provisions and whatnot. What and, do they look like? What's my uh, broker's fee? Hang on, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Martin. <laughs> my, my phone's going. I'm starting to think it's not Fischler that is greedy and that it's Colby. <laughs> Man, that's rough. <laughs> I mean, if, if you guys would prefer me not get into the role playing aspect and we just get down to numbers all the time, I can just skip ahead. Oh, here's 25 gold. Now you guys arrive to the ruins. Hey, you own the ruins. You get, like ten, you get 20. So you get 200 XP. Level? You move on to the next place. I mean, if, that's how you guys, if that's how you guys want to play it out, we'll play I'm it out. I'm not going to lie, that does sound mildly attractive. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's playing it like Taskbar, the RPG. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Go on with the closet. Okay. okay. <laughs> My guy literally could give two shits about money, so this whole conversation is him staying in a corner and kind of nodding. So well, we've signed, right the, we've signed the contract. The balance of a GM is that there are people in the group that are concerned about money and are more social creatures. So if I don't add some social stuff in here, then they get bored. Oh, like, yeah. Like Colby, who complains every time I say roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> you have cool stuff to do in combat. Whatever. You let Colby take his time to do, like, deceptions and persuasions. <laughs> he will run this fucking game. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to, like, give, like, everybody, uh, you know, ways to be able to utilize their character. So, before well, we depart, Martin, right, yeah. But Colby apparently doesn't want to, to roleplay this one out this time. Now he just wants the money and move on. Go on! <laughs> I just like, forgot. Or the guy was trying to shark me. No. So, before we set sail, Martin, before we leave port... Um, I call everybody to the ship's deck. So the contract is signed. The money has been doled out, correct? Kevin's trying to make me forget now, Colby. I know. I'm not trying I'm to. I'm just going to his other house. I, I only got to get started, and I haven't even got to finish yet. My bad. <laughs> so he brings all of his provisions on the ship. His two compatriots 
are also ogres. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, well, he's the uh, drinking downstairs. And he like he comes aboard right. the ship and he hands he hands a pouch of gold <laughs> to Finn and he says, "So thankful that you were able to come to a uh, more reasonable rate, Captain." He says, "I promise you won't even know we're here." Um, and then Vishla, he comes over to you and he like tosses a bag of gold to you and he says, I trust that that will be more than adequate for your services. I thank you very much for brokering this deal. I think that you will find uh, not only your your fee, but um, what is at the ruins uh, very satisfactory. Is he going to get mad if I count it? <laughs> he walks away, so you can do whatever you want. How much is it? He gave you 25 gold yourself. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll say. He basically yeah. ha he had 100 gold to spend on the expedition, so he, he had 25 more gold that he could spend, so he was like, nice. I'll cool. give it to the person who made this happen. So, jerk or not, he is good to his word, I'll and apparently is wealthy. I'll settle for it. Kind of reminds you of Vishla in a way. I'm probably going to kill him for a share of the treasure anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> no meta talk. <laughs> All right, now, Kevin, you were asking questions. So, um, before we set sail, I want to call everybody to the ship's deck. And everybody or just a party? All hands on deck. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to be walking around the ship's deck, giving a speech, just talking about basically, like, we are, we are prepared to sail. Everybody knows how long it's going to be. You know, um, that... Nothing is guaranteed on the seas. The seas, you know, the sea, the sea is uh, dangerous and folly. And, and as I walk around, I'm going to talk about the amount of adventure and treasure. Of course, the fucking ogre's absent. <laughs> um, got two more there to replace him. That's fine. Shit, uh, that's an inspiration. As I'm talking about like the adventures that are to be had and the booty to be gained, I'll walk behind Aaron's assistant and tap her slightly on the ass. <laughs> no, that's not going to go well. Okay, so um, uh, make an insight check, Kevin. Yes. Here we go. Here comes the natural 20. No. To find insight that she's going to kill you and you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you don't real you don't realize that as soon as you tap her ass like like the revulsion she feels and she immediately like whips around and like uh, grabs your wrist and then um, you need to roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> roll a dex save, an unskilled dex save. No, uh, you need to I play it off. Like, what do you mean? My hand just brushed against you. That doesn't happen. You don't do that. You pull a straight Vince Vaughn. Like, wah, 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 wah. You need to make a <laughs> wisdom save. Okay, you feel like a sharp pain in your brain and like blood comes out your nose a little bit and then she like leans over and whispers and she's like no and then she leans back <laughs> I try to play it off <laughs> nobody else sees it to me wow. she's just spicy so now Finn is walking around with a, with a little bit of blood trickling out of his nose but no, nobody probably knows why because she didn't cast a spell or anything like that hmm and so after my great speech, my ass brush, then uh, then we're ready to set sail. <laughs> You're like bleeding from the nose a little bit, slightly right. concussed. Like, right, I was going to say, like, half my face is mush right now. Like, I had a stroke. <laughs> Fergar and Donkey did not come to this meeting. I don't know if uh, if anybody else didn't come, but... All right, so everybody's good? Yeah. Everybody's good. All right, so you set sail. <laughs> You're... Your assistant, she's one feisty little one. Thankfully. I like him feisty. <laughs> She'll probably murder you, be careful. So I call, um, I do want to call um, the rest of the adventuring party to the captain's quarters, if they'll come. Okay. Alrighty. Fergar comes drunk as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you come to this, but not the other one. Don donkey, donkey will pass out in the hold. As he can't hold as much rum as, as Fergarg, but he tries. So there's one. Whew, I, 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 I show up. Aaron's three. Uh, yeah, I'll be there. Uh, I show up. Absolutely. This is my fucking job. 
All right, so Vishal is the only one that we don't. Vishal, are you going? Where Where am I going? To the captain's quarters. Kevin is asking all of you to come to the captain's quarters. Yep, I am going. Okay. Okay, so that puts six of us. So I do. I basically just give you guys a spiel that we're taking this, you know, adventure and his two ogres to uh, some some ruins. He paid the ship seventy five gold. So what I did was I gave everybody ten gold apiece. Um, kept. Ten for the, ten for Rowan and five for the ship. Anybody any issues with that? No. Nope. It is important that this one introduces it itself. Um, oh yeah, actually. What is your before name? Before I do that, I'm gonna look at our mystery guest, Mister Hogan, and I'm gonna be like, "Who the bloody hell are you?" <laughs> I was known in a previous encounter with these in a different form as Howden. Uh, I understand that it is important to your kind to have a continuous name, so I will continue to use. Sorry. So this one will continue to use that name. Um, okay, so preferable. names aren't that important. I know who the hell you are, but why the hell are you in my captain's quarters? I said my adventuring party. You don't look like my adventuring party. I felt a call. This one felt a calling to um, follow your friends and ensure that they um, come to success in their quest. That one's that one's all right. You vouch for this one? <laughs> this one appreciates your use of his pronouns. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That one is welcome. Uh, I try to reassure you, Captain. I, I believe that he is trustworthy. Well, if my first mate's willing to vouch for you, then you're all right in my eyes. So, yeah, I go ahead and give it out the way. I've already I'll vouched take, for enough people in this group. I'll take the 10 gold and drop it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody should make well, a perception check. Right, I look at everybody. It. Everybody should make a perception shit. check when that happens. Oh shit! I got some dialogue for this. Nice. All right, so everybody but Aaron, <laughs> everybody, Aaron and Fergar <laughs> notice that, like, as soon as he turns his palm up and like the like gold leaves his hand, it like really rapidly like falls to the ground, almost like it was like pulled there, and it just like thuds to the ground. Boy, mate, Are what the bloody hell was that? Like, uh, is something wrong with my gold? No, your gold is sufficient. I just have no need of it. This one um, has no need of it. <laughs> excuse me, this one has no need of it. Um, <laughs> does this complete the meeting? Well, yeah, but you're not going to leave your bloody gold here on the ground. Either you're going to take it or I'm going to take it back. Are there any shadows in the room, Martin? Preferably on the floor. Oh, yeah, there's shadows everywhere. I'm just going to vaporize. <laughs> 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 so you're, you're, you're a shadow monk. The shit. <laughs> nice. Vaporizes right, so, gold vaporized. So so Howden just uh, vaporizes before he rise. <laughs> he killed That's his camera. <laughs> Where'd you find this guy anyway? Who the hell is this? Really? Guy? Exactly. Like, who the bloody hell was that? And why the hell is he bloody vanishing in my captain's quarters? No, I can't even you know rub my again, rub rub a shell out. Finn. With him. Finn. Finn. You had a guy walk onto this boat riding an Allosaurus, and a dude disappears into a shadow, and that's the weird thing? <laughs> <laughs> and I sit there not thinking, I'm like, all right, bloody hell, what, what am I? <laughs> Where is he going to leave his gold there? Because if he's going to leave his gold there, then I'm going to pick that shot up, and I'm going to use it towards the boat. The gold is just sitting there. Everybody that is watching Billy's character disappear. <laughs> 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 what the, what the <laughs> hell, JJ? <laughs> I hate that thing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> just give up. It's like, it's like one step yeah. above knee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I still feel right. odd that he just like dropped the gold and left it there and then vaporized. Like, is, is anybody going to pick that up? Pick what up? The gold. You know what? I'm not gonna chance it. Yeah. Fergog doesn't care. Well, he left a blind pile of gold in the middle of my cup. So it's feel gone. free to pick it back up, Captain. It's not worth the ten gold to me. Fergog leaves. I leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna go get my painting and put it right in front of the pile of gold. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to sit there and look at my painting and look at the pile of gold and it's going to drive me up the fucking wall. <laughs> but you're leaving the gold? Literally, because you can yes. actually walk up the wall. <laughs> but you're leaving the gold there. 
Yes. Okay. In front of the painting. Colby, you said something about you didn't know about what? I said, I don't know about that, and I walked off. Okay, so you left the gold, too. The gold, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, new, new joke for next time. So you guys are, are sailing, and you have... Uh, you have about a day to do whatever you want to do, and if you have anything in downtime that you want to accomplish. Um, I have one thing that I realize that I want to start trying to accomplish in my downtime, but I'm not sure that there's any capability of doing it while on the ship. I want to try to learn Draconic, like full-on Draconic. Yeah, you can. Um, so there are rules on there on how to learn a language. It's a, a guild uh, or a gold piece per day that you have to spend for 250 mm -hmm. days, uh, but you have to have somebody to teach you. You happen to have two kobolds that speak draconic, so teaching you draconic is not going to be hard. Do I have to pay them? <laughs> you're not. You're not necessarily paying them. You're like paying for like you know the study materials and whatever uh, okay. else. So like. Um, but it basically costs you a gold piece per day and 250 days worth of doing that. And that's all I can do that day? Uh, yeah. Uh, you basically spend your Jeez. a day practicing that. Hey, well, learning, a, learning a language in 250 days is actually pretty tough. <laughs> learning a full language? Like to where you're fluent in it? I know. It? I just don't know how I'm going to keep track of 250 days. Just going to have to write it on your sheet. I got yep. one one of 250 days towards Draconic. <laughs> yeah, no way to like, well, just just tell me, and if I don't know, fine, but I mean, are there like books that I could go see it, search out in town that would speed that up or magically teach me a language? No, uh, I mean, it's... there you, you can learn like the tongue spell or something like that to be able to understand it and speak it, but like, um, like that's not even like my rule, that's straight out of the book, um, mainly because like language, languages are supposed to be something that you get from either... Uh, picking up another class or choosing the right background that gave you additional languages and things like that. But um, so you're you're trying to gain something that you would normally gain from leveling up without leveling up. Jeez. All right. What else? Well, now I'll, okay. I'll find that's something already better in three point five. Three point five, you couldn't even learn a language without actually like really? investing skill yeah. points or increasing yeah. your ability modifier or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna s I'm gonna study Omen, my little book that I've got, and I'm gonna try uh, teaching a deer some more common. Okay. So you're gonna spend a day teaching her common. Yeah. Okay. So you keep track of that. Yep. Uh, Kevin, <laughs> what are you doing for your day? Uh, so I'm gonna be steering the boat, and every chance that I get, I'm gonna wink at Adira. Okay. Make a persuasion. Okay, so you you do that, and she doesn't like look away in disgust, but she doesn't like return it or anything. It's all right. She likes the cat. <laughs> all right, uh, Billy. Is there anything your character wants to do in his day of worth of downtime? Um, this one will probably mostly spend his time bothering Dorian, um, and uh, creepily sort of going around corners and just disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, and offering to do any repair woodwork on the ship. <laughs> I'm sure Kevin would accept that. Oh, I'd be thrilled about it. I'd be like, you think you can make the, the breast of the, the front of the mast a little bit more supple? This one has no problem doing that. This one understands exactly how to do that. This one will begin soon. <laughs> does, uh, does the captain have a pre preferred type of wood to be used in this project? Oak. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dig up smoke. All right, <laughs> just gonna dig up smoke. This one knows where Fine. to find smoke. <laughs> 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 All right, Do Dorian, what are you doing for your day? I am probably just doing my general first mate duties, commanding the crew, etc. And any time that Howden appears to be interested in chatting, I will chat with him. Okay. Uh, and Fergar, what are you doing during your day of downtime? Uh, drinking with Donkey. Okay. And you Pardon. keep that dinosaur from dribbling on my planks. <laughs> Ooh. 
we should. I'm actually going to pull the first mate off to the side and be like, we should keep pretty close on that ogre, and he's a donkey. He'll drink us out of rum. And then what will we do in our downtime? Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> Um, while we're having our day, and by the way, I did do one day of learning Draconic because I have nothing better to do. Um, I will be back. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's pretty much the day. Everybody, uh, hit die. Everybody already yeah. said that they're doing so. Um, I'm gonna give him a few a few seconds. Come back while I get another beer. In the meantime, I want everybody to be deciding if uh, so. What time you typically would like retire for the evening? Like, if you're a day sleeper, night sleeper, you stay up late, you go to bed early. Think about that. Let me know when I get back. I'll be right back. I'd probably go to bed shortly after dark. Me too. I'd probably have some rum for a little bit. You know, maybe have like a drink or two of rum, chill out. It's like one of the nice times where like things haven't been absolutely fucking insane. So I feel like it's cool to have a down moment with everybody. Burgar drinks enough and passes out at 4 p.m. Wait, like 4 in the afternoon? Yes. <laughs> what the shit, dude? How the fuck did Martin get this? It's good stuff. GM Holy Music? Hey, I want to welcome everybody to the smooth listening hour here on the radio. <laughs> this is amazing. I've got some Jim Holden coming up, followed by some Crack Banak Tech. <laughs> Oh man, this is like and full then, mic in the evening. <laughs> full mic in the evening. I need my smoking jacket. Please stay tuned. We got some wonderful commercials coming up here shortly. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Um, I'll be signing yeah. out here on the Michael line. I don't know. This one enjoys staring into starless nights. It has not um, escaped this one's notice that when the moon is out, the stars. Flee from it. Only in the brightness of the moon, maybe we experience the darkness of night fully. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell that to anybody who listens. <laughs> so, uh, Martin, I ponder this concept with you. <laughs> just, just awesome for you. Um, I would go to sleep right, right as the moon was getting directly overhead of us, and then as my rest condition, I rolled a four. Uh, okay. Well, we're not getting to the rest yet. Okay. I just, I, I just want to, I just want to know. I just want to know when you're resting. Four p.m. About an hour after nightfall. All right. So, MC, what, what, about what time of day do you tend to sleep? An hour after dark. Okay. So you're on the boat. That's when I go to bed tonight. You're an early go to sleep. Kevin goes to bed late at night. Mm -hmm. um, Colby, what time does your character generally probably go to sleep? When the moon is at its highest apex and the spirits are at their most dire. Okay. So at the same time, <laughs> same time as Kevin. <laughs> Uh, Sounds Billy, good. what time Sounds does your character good. tend to go to sleep, Billy? Late enough in the evening to appreciate the darkness. This one sounds like this one would get along with that one as well. <laughs> so, late yeah, enough. I still don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> so when the moon late. has reached its zenith. <laughs> Alright, Dorian, when do you tend to sleep? I'm going to actually, like, I normally would go to bed earlier, but I'm going to stay up to hang out with this is Howden guy because I'm so curious. It's guy love between right. two guys. I would, I would, but I need my spells. Fergarg, I'm assuming you're retiring early because you've been drinking, you've been day drinking, yep. so he's, you're probably gonna. He's been past that drug at 4 p.m. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, everybody except for MC and Fergarg should make a perception check. Is uh. A deer asleep or is she awake? Everyone except for who does it? Uh, she probably Ooh. sleeps when you sleep. Okay. Everybody except for JJ and MC. <clears throat> nice rolls. All right. Yes. So everybody except for Howden. Um, you guys are so it's it's late at night. The the ship's cruising along, um, and. Um, you guys each hear like a muffled like uh, like one of the crewmen you hear like a <laughs> and then you like you look over and the crewman is not standing where he was. So, like he's just gone. Uh, 
Uh, my very first reaction as first mate is raise the alarm. Someone's gone. <laughs> Man overboard. Sound the alarm. All right. So, uh, Dorian, are you going to go do that? Hells yeah. Okay. So you go sound the alarm. Uh, MC and Fergarg make a perceptions check. Fergarg at a disadvantage. Yeah, boy. Drunk. <laughs> Me too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so neither of you wake up to the alarm. <laughs> I start shouting at the top of my lung once I hear the uh, the alarm. I'm like, all hands on deck! Alright. Stay alert, stay alive, boys! <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? There we go. We don't have all the people. So... Actually, I like oh, Final Fantasy oh, 7. I got one more to roll. Position your pieces on the board as to where you would be on the ship. I don't the see hold. the rub. It'd be down in the hold, the bottom one. Yes. <laughs> That's not, is, that the, is that the bottom? Yeah. Move Donkey yeah. down there too, Fergarg. Where I, I is the control room? room. Give me, give me you this. don't? No. Give me that Donkey control. Get oh, that Donkey Donkey! Yeah. You made it, okay, Oh, donkey. that's right. Everything got changed because of yours. Give me that donkey, donkey. Does Michael have control over Adira? Uh, oh, I didn't even see she had a token. I do not. Ambrosius. Take note of where she I is, am. He is for the most part going to be non combatant. Take note of where I am. Alright, Michael Christie now has control over Adira. Colby, do you have control over your guys? No, and R3, yes. What about Ambrosia? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. And now I seem to have control over Meepo. Okay. He shoots mine bullets, dude. You don't want to do that. Mind bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put her down below deck? With mind bullets. This is a chode, man. That's this is such a this child. Well, she, well, Martin said she went to bed. Like probably like like around the one I did. Yeah, yeah. and I'm over top of her having like a fucking breathing attack right now, like <sighs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> fucking creep. <laughs> okay, that's a little too far, my bad. Alright, so <laughs> it's fine. Colby, your dinosaur is on there too if you need to do anything with it. Yeah, you know, I was having a, an asthma I, I don't, that one. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think it can do combat though. Um, I don't know. I was just looking at that for mounts. Mounted combat, maybe. As he runs around my boat, like. Uh, so uh, a mount gets one action. It can either do the dash, uh, a I think an attack, or there's one other thing it can do on your turn. And it has the same initiative as you. It goes on your turn, but yeah. its movement and its attack are not part of yours. Okay. Yeah, in the spell itself, it's, it does say your steed serves you as a mount both in combat and out, so that implies to me that there is at least some combat functionality. However, yeah, Martin, I will not use him in combat for the remainder of this session because I want to email you about it later, although I appreciate it. I think you've accidentally made my mount super OP, so we can email about it later, but I'm not going to use him in combat just for balance reasons until next time. Okay. <clears throat> I'll ride him, but I'm not going to attack. Good That's mighty wide of you. He's not as powerful as you think. I don't know if you just... I have to send you a couple articles I've been sitting here reading. There's people who just say that you should go by challenge rating, even though the book doesn't limit it so, and the Allosaurus' challenge rating is about four times what they recommend for a mount under this spell. So oh, really? he actually does get a decent attack and has pretty high hit points, so that makes it fairly powerful for me to be able to summon him at will, because if he dies, I just summon him again. <laughs> yeah, so we'll probably nerf him a little bit, but yeah. I was mainly just looking at size and ability. But like, yeah, he's he's a challenge rating two, whereas the warhorse is just a challenge rating half. Exactly, they recommend half. Right. But I mean, I was I was I wasn't gonna let you have like certain things about him. Like, I, you weren't gonna have like the pounce ability. And yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is we can work all that out later. I understand all that. I just don't. I don't want to attack with him because it's nerfed right now. So. Well, if you want to mm -hmm. ride him though, then you could get a benefit from that because yeah, if you well, ride him in combat, he moves at sixty foot. Yeah. So. Holy shit. That's what that's what horses do. Yeah, yeah. I mean uh, that was what I pretty much in, uh, was uh, intending for you to be able to use him for in combat because you'd be able to move further. Yep. I just heard Martin fucking threaten the nerf bat, so that's like all my night right there. <laughs> 
I, at least I didn't whip out the band hammer, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. Rough. All right. This meta is killing me inside. All right, so has everybody put themselves where they're at? Wherever the alarm is where I would be headed. Roll initiative. Son of a bitch. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Find Dorian. <laughs> where are you at, Dorian? I'm right there in the middle. In where should I be? Toxicated. With disadvantage. Ah, I'm up top. Nice. Cool. All right, so <laughs> that, top, that top deck, just so you guys understand, that blue area in the center is basically like not there. You can't walk yeah, across that. There's a guy. There's a guy. Area. Yeah, the guy who's in the center of it there is in the crow's nest, but the edges there, that is a like catwalk walkway that goes along the banister. So you gotcha. can walk across that. Okay. This is a lot of dudes. Uh, I was yeah. ship. I'm not rolling for the regular guys. They're just deck hands. They're not combat guys. I guess Burgard, I guess should. Nice. But your followers should get rolled. Finn, what's your dex? Individually? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Finn, what's your dex? Dirty fucking kabolds. Um, uh, fucking right. ridiculous. It's, 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 um, uh, 18. Okay, you go before me. What is what is initiative comprised of again? Uh, just your dex modifier. Just dex? Unless you, have, unless you have, unless you have unless you have a feat or something that that modifies right. otherwise. All right, I don't know if this works. That's but, supposed to be a deerus. Hey Colby, I wrote it actually in my notes. I, yeah. uh, I now have a kobold hate, which is a noticeably rude towards kobolds after a certain night of catastrophic events. The itch, oh the itch. It's fucked up, dude. I'm sorry. It seemed like a pleasant fucking thing oh, to put in there. That was ignore that. That was me clicking a button. <laughs> <laughs> 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. Marge is the one that insinuated the fact that I slept with the bowl. I was just taking it and rolling with it. I don't see any, any extra initiative stuff on either of them, so I'll just roll. I will have to review their sheets more carefully. That was for Arthur. Now you can make Meepos and Ambrosius together. Okay. Which, ironically, Ambrosius is on Arthur's sheet. But... God, you yeah. seriously have, like, a fucking team. Yeah. yeah. Does. They're not even all here. There's one of them. Eleven was Did Meepo's Meepo. get his name from, like, the island that Belkin's from? Meepo is the only one of my followers fortunate enough to have his own name. <laughs> yeah, Colby, Colby's renamed all of his followers, but Meepo refused. He said he would take Pepe as a title of endearment, but he would not take it as his actual name. Meepo the Pepe. Yeah, if you call him Meepo the Pepe, he will answer. If you call him Pepe Meepo, he will answer. But if you leave Meepo out of it, he will not answer. That's funny. I like his name. It's all telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Meepo the Pepe. Right. It's like so amazing. Burger, you need to roll one for your donkey. Donkey. So give me that donkey, donkey. Hey. He's going to have like the longest combat rounds ever. <laughs> All right, then I got a to do. Oh, right. They already got a Dragon Con cosplay 2015 online. It's pretty decent. I still think Martin was the best uh, best dressed bean from Angel. That he was. What? What now? Huh? What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Also, the only one like professionally done, probably. Probably. <laughs> okay. He also had that charisma. Charisma. All right, Adira, you get to go first. All right. Uh, I guess she should make a perception check to see if she's actually noticed what's going on. Yes, see if she wakes up. All right. Let me. I'm still building her character sheet. Wakes up to the captain standing over top of her bed, breathing real that, hard. <sighs> that should have been hers. Okay, so she'll wake up. Okay. Uh, she'll wake up, and then I guess basically uh, like right here. Or hang on, I got him on the wrong layer. Right here <laughs> is a rope that you have to climb up in order to be able to get in and out of the hold. Okay. Well, I think the first thing she would do is for her move action get up since she's prone. 
just half her move, and then mm -hmm. for her item interaction is poke me awake. Okay. And then uh, sign or whatever it is that she does to let me know that like eh, danger. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Yeah. And then <laughs> she'll move to like there. She'll poke you and say bad. She, bad. You, you teach her some stuff, so she says she like points up and she's like bad. Yeah. See, I th originally thought she was like deaf, like she couldn't speak at all. Nope. Okay. That's cool. Mute. That makes communication. Yeah, you're right. Mute. That makes communication a lot easier. Okay. Burgard, you need to make a perception. See if you wake up at disadvantage. Do it, Burgard. Good luck. Get the kill. Right. At disadvantage, you still wake up at disadvantage. Yeah, boys. So you wake up and you hear like people on the deck being like, you know, go all hands on deck. All right, uh, wake up, donkey. Okay. Donkey, get up. Uh, they want our hands on the deck. <laughs> okay. Uh, he he like he's like, <laughs> it was, he's like I ain't got no hands, man. All right, you're right. You stay here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Aaron. Okay, uh, since I'm awake now, half my move to stand up, and then you said the uh, there's like a, there's a rope to go up. Yep, right in the center of that these four squares here. Ten, there's a rope that you would climb up. Fifteen. Like, that's, like, and it's like a ten foot climb. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to double. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna double move because it's the middle of the night. I got woke up. I am not ready for fighting. I'm a grumpy cat. I'm only gonna take the one move action. And I just exhausted it, and I'm going to cast a spell on myself. Okay. All right, Howden. That's the um, spell that I cast on myself. So there's these okay. intruders here, right? I mean, we clearly recognize that there are dudes here who shouldn't be, and they're attacking people. No, no, no. There, it's the opposite. There are at least two dudes that are not here that should be. Okay. Oh, sorry. I saw these guys standing here. Those are just standard crew, right? Yes, that's like the crew, and there's two of them that are missing from their post. All right, which ones? Uh, the um, ones, the ones that would be on the like catwalk of the the upper the deck. Catwalk, yeah. Can can I interject real fast? Uh huh. So the two extra rolls that you threw in there, Martin. So you know, the first one, the is the magic surge to see if I got a one to see if something happened. Uh, the second one is for the actual spell effect. So I cast blink, uh, and I roll a d20 at the end of each of my turns. If it's equal or greater than 11, I disappear into the ethereal plane. Okay. So I got a 13, so I am on the ethereal plane. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to let you know, so when I started doing crazy shit, you knew. Okay. Fucking sorceries. Okay. So <laughs> the the topmost deck that is shown is the deck that the guys are missing from, correct? Yes. Okay. And uh, is it are they from missing from like over here, or is it more like one on each side of? No, the, no. Uh, where where I did this. my blue before here. All right. And here. Okay, so from where I'm at, I would need to go, like... There's stair There's two sets of stairs on each side of the deck. I'd want to go here? Yeah, and that would, yeah. that would end you up here. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to get to the top of the stairs here, and then I'll produce a, a flame on my hand to generate some light. Okay. Um, and it casts light out to 10 feet and then dim light another 10 feet past that. Okay. Ah, oh, that's stupid. That's one of the things that's one of the pro features. So I can't, oh, even, light I can't, I can't yeah. even cast li the, the, the light. I mean, we can see fine. It's okay. I just have it perfect, I guess, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this worked out for next week because I know that there's stuff that I have planned that use dynamic lighting. All right. Is that all you got then? Yep. Okay. Ben. Okay, so I'm barking out orders. I shout to Dorian, I'm like, Why? Keep your eyes shut, mate. There's something going on, and we're losing ship hands. And I'm ready in action. If. Oh, and I also ask if anybody's seen who went overboard and where from, if you can tell us that. Okay, so some of your deckhands, God, they all roll fucking shit. Wow. All idiots. single digits, everyone. That's why I pay them dirt shit. 
<laughs> wow. Okay, so one guy got a sixteen, and he's like, he's like, he's like, Captain. He's like, all I saw was that uh, there was uh, water that came up out of the water and dragged him down into it. He said it was uh, uh it was Bill and Ted. They got dragged down. <laughs> nice, nice. Next adventure. Where? Bogus Rufus. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> it was a and Kranz and Gildenstern. We need those guys. <laughs> yeah, All right, so what are you yes. doing, Finn? I'm spinning around. I'm like, where? Show me where. He, he, say, he says, on the, on, the, on the side rails, Captain. Yeah? No, I, I did the blip before, Captain. Here. And here. Go on both sides. Yes. See you yourselves, mate, and all ready in action. If something comes... Out of the war, I'm gonna to try to move and attack. To attack, okay. Dorian. I'm doing the same thing. I'm preparing an Eldritch Blast to hit the next thing that pops up over the sides of the, the ship on either side. If something okay. looks aggressive and is attacking. I'm gonna shoot the crap out of it. Okay. <laughs> Meepo. Meepo. Uh, Meepo is confused and scared. So he will just ready in action to stab anything that comes near us. Okay. Vishala. Vishala is confused and scared. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Vishala is going to try to figure out what, if anything, I, I want to do. Mockery, blade board, shatter, fuck that. Suggestion, tongues, bestow, curse, sending, there's um, <clears throat> I guess I will just give Finn a bardic inspiration. Finn now that gives me right. advantage on one of uh, a roll of my choosing, right, Colby? At, at any point in the next. 10 minutes, it's an extra D8 on any, basically any roll. I have to look, there's a couple of things it doesn't count for. It has to be like an attack roll, it can't be damage. Um, okay. Or a save. But you you can wait until after you roll, but you have you can't, you have to do it before Martin says if you succeed. Yeah, I think it's pretty much any D20 roll, Kevin. Okay. But not damage. Right, but she doesn't a D20 roll. Because this is like the first time I've ever got Bardic Inspiration, so. Yay! Aw, Vishal has been leaving you out. Yeah, he's been giving it to Fergard. Damn ogre. You're the only one here. Alright. Is that all you, are you doing, Vishla? Um, <coughs> yeah, that's a bonus action, so I guess I can still ready an action to stabby stab with my rapier. Okay. Alright. Then everybody that is on the upper decks, nobody in the hold, but everybody's on the upper decks should make a perception roll. Noise. 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 Every time I see a dodge or something, I just think, Sabadoge. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Is that everybody on the upper deck? She shaped his fucking Clean fan. Oh, do I need to roll one? Anybody who's on the upper decks? I thought you were talking about the area where Dorian was at. No, no. Anybody that's on, like, the, like, not hold or in a cabin. Who were those, I guess? Alright, so everybody but Finn then notices, like, uh, it looks like water that, like, comes up out of the water, but it, it's, like, more, like, gelatinous. And you see it, uh, you see it knock this guy off the, the edge of the ship, and then this guy. Oh, shit. Ah. Can we just get out of this water really fast? And then it goes back down into the water. Really? Uh, have it Let me look here and see where everybody's at. So nobody's near the edge. So Dorian, you're the only ones that you've got height to be able to look down and see. The ship around the majority of the uh, base of it um, has like this like... Uh, like it, it's like it looks, dark water. It's it's almost like like you see like this clot of like flotsam adrift, like just like a bunch of like 
it's just like this like mass that has a bunch of like driftwood and seaweed and like all kinds of other stuff but it's not like it's just floating in the water you can tell it's like stuck to something um, and it covers an area about uh, that large mm. ah. we're stuck in it we're stuck in it boys can we roll nature or arcana to know if we know anything about this? Dorian can because Dorian's the only one who sees it. So if he has rolling. if he has arcana, then he can roll that. I do not have proficiency in arcana. Then you're not rolling anything. Gotcha. Well, you, if you have nature, I'll allow you to do it just because you may have encountered something like this in defaring, but then you, then you would not be able to roll anything. Good so check. instead of leaving that covering, you guys, I'm going to like draw an outline around it. Okay, so it basically covers that space. Oh boy. That's a good outline, actually. That's perfect. Do you use a ruler for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... Can my ready to action go off and try to, like, blast the shit out of it? There's nothing that comes within the range. Damn it. Um, so it just looks well, like water? Yeah. Goo water? Um, do what? Just, like, goo water? Mm-hmm. Mm. Bollocks. Not good. Arthur. Arthur will... He really wants to stab everything. Um, let's see here. <laughs> In his defense, you did tell him not to murder anything unless you told him to. Right. We'll have to talk about that later, because that was poorly worded. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lawful, though. Like, if, if if something attacks you or him, he's not gonna be like, "Can I kill it now?" He's just. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. Well, I guess he really can't do anything. Doesn't know anything yet. So I guess just like the others, he'll delay an action to stabby stab. Okay, donkey. Uh. He's yes, free. donkey would try and. I don't even think Donkey can get out of the hold without you lifting him out of it, because he has to climb a rope to get out. Uh, yeah, well, and Donkey's going to stay there, because he doesn't have hands. Right. No hands on deck for him. Right. <laughs> Adira. What a nice uh, of words. Adira is going to move 5, 10, and then try to climb up the rope. Okay, so make an athletics. All right. Athletics. Nope. Come on in. So she's not able to climb the rope. Um, Fergarg. Alright, so Fergarg is going to try and try and get out. Okay. Is that in athletics? Uh huh. To climb the rope? Yep. Alright, so you're able to climb the rope, no problem. So now you are, there's, there's actually people blocking your exit path, but you're essentially, we'll just put you there. Okay. Alright, so I see these, like, gelatin bullshit now. No. No, only Dorian was able to see that. Oh. You see everybody else looking around frantically, like trying to figure out what's going on because they heard like the cries of like the other guys getting grabbed and yanked off the ship. But I haven't had a turn yet to say anything. Yeah. yeah. And no, well, speaking is fairly a free action. Like as long as you're not going into like a long narrative, you can be like, you know, shit, right. there's a glob in the water. So if we're going, I, mean, I, just, I, would, I would have shouted that out when I saw it. There's a glob in the water. Uh, Wouldn't we have noticed that the two other ship well, hands went down? Fergarg's going to ready an action to attack anything that comes within his range. Okay. Aaron. Okay, so here's the fun thing. Um, how high is the ceiling from where we are? Uh, like 10 feet. 10 feet? So 10 feet would put me on the deck of the boat? Yeah. Okay, so when you blink back into existence... Uh, so, okay... 
Have you read Blur? The no. ship has already moved on, and you're lost at sea. <laughs> no, you stay where you are. Um, well, so yeah, when you moved on. at the start of your turn, you return to the material plane that you cast the spell on, but within ten feet of where you cast it. So at the end of my turn, I went to the ethereal plane. At the start of my next turn, I return to the material plane on within ten feet of where I was. So I would okay. appear shunted to here. Okay. So I just like whoop, up to the top. That's fine. Are you naked? I am not naked. I am covered in a strange petroleum jelly, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, you didn't. You didn't get to hear Dorian yell that out, but you are on the edge of the ship there, so you can make a perception check. And you don't do well. Okay. So you don't see anything. All right. Well, in that case. I do not disappear back into the ethereal world. Okay. I am totally material. Alright. Howden. Okay, um, I'm going to do this move and then I've got to go. Um, what I'm going to do is go up to the top deck uh, where Dorian's at. Okay. And then I'm going to cast uh, Pass Without Trace on he, myself, and that crew member there. Uh, that gives us a plus 10 to our stealth check. Okay. Uh, it lasts for an hour, it's based on concentration, and then I'm going to hide behind a barrel or shadow or whatever I can do to kind of like stealthify. Okay. Cool, and then I'm out. I'll see y'all later. Alright, man. Can I can help Billy. out with this. Enjoy, Bye. Bye. Enjoy Bye. Billy. Alright. Uh, Finn. Okay, so seeing that I'm losing uh, ship, you know, crew hands left and right, I'm going to order all of them below deck. And hopefully that will uh, provide a, an RP excuse for um, our mystery guests who have went down deck as well. So that that's really smart. Um, well, the mystery guest is hiding. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I'm saying, like, if I order everybody down deck, he's probably going to see that as an opportunity to egress as well. Um, but they they will be able to move on your turn. So on your next turn, they will be able to start moving towards going below deck. Yeah, I order them all down deck, and then I'm going to ready an action again. Okay. And I'm probably going to move up towards Dorian. Okay. So, alright. Dorian. Well, uh, I guess since it's not too far across to the side, I'm going to like step over and look down and see what the hell I can see. Pretty much the same. Uh, you With your like advantage of being up higher, you don't see anything different. Like You just, you see... You know the all the debris and whatnot that is like floating around you, but it doesn't like it doesn't it's not moving with the waves in the water. Like it's like almost like it's like stuck in the suspended state right. on top of the water. Um, you probably see like one of the crew members there, and a, it looks like he's below the surface, but not so far that you can't see him. Like you can see a person there, but he's definitely below the surface, and he's not thrashing or moving or anything like that. Strange. <laughs> um, so, does it seem like there's wind in the sails? Like, should we be moving? Yes. Do you you are moving. The ship right. is still moving. Okay, it is. But there's it's like something st stuck to us. That's what it look it looks like, or or it may stretch farther than you because it is night, so you can only see so far out in this in the water. But um, but as far as you can tell, all around you is surrounded by this debris. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Well, I guess I'm just going to shoot an Eldritch Blast at this thing and see what happens. Okay. When all else fails, Eldritch Blast. Good choice. Yeah. Okay. So, the first one does not hit, but the second one will. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Does it knock it ten feet back? Um, I don't think that it can avoid that. Like, if if it's the same thing that's from Warlock, I, there is no save on that. It just knocks them back. Yep. That's really crazy. But also, I mean, if it's like realistic, if the thing's too big. I I mean, it visibly does not appear to move. Uh, but you see the space where you hit it, like you see like a ten foot indentation in the goo. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Okay. Huh. That might have what been more happened? effective than I thought it would be. 
What happened? Say, I don't know. <laughs> and um, I back up and get back to the center of the ship. And like, yeah, I mean, that, that's all the actions that I have. Okay. Meepo. Meepo um, is curious because of what Dorian said. He will move to the edge next to Aaron. What does he see when he looks down? Uh, what I described before. Um, it's just like a lot of like detritus um, that is like kind of floating in the water, but again, not. It looks like it's more like suspended in the water. Okay. Um, um, and detritus, <laughs> meaning not just like driftwood and seaweed and things like that, but you also see like, you know, one of the sailors and like um, just all kinds of assorted junk like you'd see come out of the shrimp boating nets. Okay. There's, there's a license plate in there and a toilet seat. And... Right. He will. He has to be susceptible to fire. License plate and a toilet seat. That's good. Um, he will. Ooh. He doesn't want to do that. That would hurt. Um. I guess he'll just yell back. There's stuff in the water. <laughs> okay. Huh. I feel weird because I think you're basically still acting the characters, although I'm choosing their actions. But I can if you want. I'd probably prefer that. It would work better for me. Okay. So, presuming that is something that you would say that he would say, that is what he said, and that is his turn. He will still delay an action well, to I can do, I can something. do I can do one or the other. Like it, it's going to be really weird for me to like do just the verbal stuff and not the actions. Like if you I want know, to I just action, for this turn, but if you want to change what he said, that's fine. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. All right, Vishala, your turn. Right. Vishala will. Vishala will also go to the edge on his Allosaurus. You won't be able to fit in that space then. <sighs> Vishala will <laughs> walk over here on his Allosaurus. Aaron is blocking that space too. <laughs> you take up, you take up, you take up two squares. So you need to be able to. I'm not. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I fit there, right? The Allosaurus is the same size as Fergarg. I just can't make it oh. stretch. I can't make it stretch out to fit in those square, those same squares. Well, then he'll move over here. Um. <clears throat> and I will just to see what happens. I will cast. Don't this know. is mockery on the detritus. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Um, let's see. I know it may or may not take damage, but is there any noticeable effect? If you'll have to tell me when it fails or whatever. I think it, it might actually take damage. There's there's nothing that makes it immune to psychic damage. Well, we would just roll its normal save. I just mean I don't know if Vishla would see any effect. Let's see. Um. Is it safe? It's uh, what kind of save was it again? Wisdom. Uh, wisdom. Roll shit. <laughs> Damn. Right. Yes. So it takes five psychic damage. Now, is there any noticeable effect to Vishla? Um. Uh... Nope, but just kind of warbles in the water. But I do see some warbling. Yes. Because, uh, I, I know I'm being particular here. Does it look just like water rippling, or does it look like... No, like blue? it's warbling. Like, instead of it just like water... Because, like, before it wasn't like you expect... A, because it should be waves, it should be kind of waving. And it right. was kind of like suspended water around you. When you uh, shot okay. it, it's like... You know, it would be like punching a bowl full of jelly. It's like... Okay. Got it. Hug me. Yeah, hug me. All right, Ar Arthur. Um, officially yelled, I did something. And then Arthur 
I guess Meepo was on the Ambrosius or whatever. Just put Ambrosius there for fuck's sake. Arthur will come over and look in the water and um, I don't think he has anything that's... Oh, he has a sling. He will fire his sling at it. Okay. Um, wait a second, though. He has all these interesting... At least one of his allies are within five feet of the creature, and the ally isn't incapacitated. We're not within five feet of the creature because we're up high, right? Correct. Okay. Um, coming action bonus assassinate. Okay, so he just uses his sling. Um, go ahead and tell me what his class is there, Colby. Huh? I said, just go ahead and tell me what his class is there. Wouldn't you like to know? Jesus Christ. I already figured it out. (laughs) 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 All right. That that will not hit him. Mm -hmm. All right. Donkey. We're just going to skip over him as he's just passed out. Adira. Okay. Adira's going to try climbing the road again. What would you say, Colby? Are we in sunlight? No. Okay. It is nighttime. Okay. All right. Uh, was that her attempt to climb the rope? No, not yet. That was not my role. Um, that was mine because. Uh, never mind. Just don't worry about 1D0. it. One d zero. You scored a zero. All right. So she's able to climb up. Yep. So and... any any of those spaces around that square, she can end up in. Yeah, she'll probably end up next to Fergard. Well, she doesn't want to be standing there. Like any of the like tan spaces around that square. That oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We'll just there stay go. there. Um, I don't know what what she was concentrating on. Like what which one of her disciplines? That's right now she's not. So that's whenever you decide to choose one to concentrate on. Oh, okay. I thought it was like at a long rest you had to choose, or a short rest. Nope. She she will do iron, the toughy guy one. Okay. So, da, 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 da. yeah, that's all she's she's gonna do because she can't. She doesn't know what's going on. Okay, Fergarg. All right, Fergarg is going to, um, I guess, ready in action if anybody gets attacked by some water thing. Okay. He's gonna okay, ready in action to attack. I did actually skip the water thing's turn. Damn it. <laughs> yes. we'll have to, we're gonna say he's he's readying for something. <laughs> oh, he's readying hard. for Arthur to look over the edge. Arthur's already looking over the edge. Oh. All right, so Fergar, what are you doing? Readying an action to attack something that comes within range. Okay. Attack a Aaron. thing that's within range. So, uh, since like all this has been going on around me and I didn't see anything, I'm just gonna be like, there's there's something in the water. <laughs> Some thing. Thing in the water. <laughs> I mean, I've said that out loud. Oh, wait, okay. hey, you were on the fucking other plane. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I'm on the other plane, I can hear and see up to 50 or up to 60 feet of the material plane. Oh. Blink. I cannot interact with it in any way. Gotcha. But I can hear and see up to 60 feet on the material plane. Okay, so you would have heard me. You would have yeah. heard me Is say there's blink? something over the... over. Let's, okay. There's always something in water. Let's just sail on. <laughs> we might be stuck. That's the thing. Yeah, but yeah, let's. Can we try sailing on? Or it's, are we like? It's still we, moving. Like, oh, Dorian, the boat's still... Already, Dorian already checked that. The boat seems to still be sailing, and this thing seems to be caught on the boat. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go zap zap like my gat. Bang bang. What, bang. Okay. Want for guard? Go check under boat. Well, I think it's in the water for guard. Yeah. For guard, so I'll check out under boat. Uh, I do not. not have advantage on any of these. Fergarg has an excellent way to enter and exit boats. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> not this one, though. <laughs> Alright. So, here comes the rolls. Alright. Where are you right now, Aaron? On the edge of the boat. I don't see your character. I think you should do the 10k magic surge. <laughs> 10k? Oh. Yeah. I, just, I agree. Oh, Arthur is standing on top of you. Yeah. Um, 
So I just shot off the side of the boat with some scorching rays. Okay. Yeah, it's not none of them had advantage. For some reason. None of them have advantage, but the magic surge go off goes off on the first one. Okay. The last one is the only one. That... <laughs> Shit. Damn. Uh. So we've had this one happen before, and we didn't like it. Oh no! Uh-huh. Each creature within thirty feet of you takes one d10 necrotic damage. Oh God! Ooh. That's the one that I hated you for. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much everybody but Dorian. Yep. Oh thank God! Well, Finn's up there with me too. Oh yeah. So Dorian and Finn do not take it, but so I'm, I'm at full hit points. Oh my God! Ooh, that sucks. Aaron, you oh. son of a bitch. Hey, you know what? It doesn't happen very often, but when it happens, it happens. There's this one crewmate over here also survives. Um, and... Mm. You know what I'm going to do? You said that last one hit, right? Yes. You know what? I've got it. I'm going to quicken another Scorching Ray. Okay. Oh, no, I can't quicken a Scorching Ray. Sorry. Uh, that'll be my turn. I have no idea what happened, so... Okay, Halden continues to hide. Alright, so since it is almost 10 o'clock, we're just going to... We're going to end <clears> on, like, so that you see, like, uh, this, this time there's more... Uh, of the like gooey tendrils that kind of like flash out. Um, I was gonna have them go for more crew members, but some of you guys are here on the side, so like um, some like flashy tendrils go immediately for. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, no. Know, know. Oh wait, no, that's for casting the spell. I am back to the ethereal plane. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that makes things easy. I was going to have everybody roll a random chance, but instead, Aaron, er, Vishla, Arthur, and Meepo are all going to be targeted. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're on the edge of the boat. <laughs> well, I never said I was smart. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to end with, with gooey tendrils coming out to, like, slap at you guys, and we're going to end there. I made myself purple to show that I'm mysterious. This is bullshit. Dude, Blur is really good! <laughs> Blur's like a giant fuck you to everything. I hate everything about this. <laughs> Don't lose your companion, I'm fucking quitting. Fergar, come save me. Uh, nice. Unless it's Greg, because Greg can come back. Alright. Well, back. I'm excited about I'm excited about next week now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also, in two weeks, um, I'm, I'm not 100% on it, but I might be canceling that game. The twenty second. Okay. Well, so, one oh, thing that, that reminds me, I will not be here next week. Okay. So one no thing card. I can say. One thing I can say is like I, I just want to say it is before we end is I really appreciate and really like the level of interaction we have in G chat and stuff outside of the game. Sure. Like, yeah. That's why I wanted great. to. That's why I wanted to revitalize that. I had started the yeah. G chat once before, but it was kind of awkward because Kevin and Colby didn't use Hangouts, mm-hmm. um, yeah. so it wasn't it wasn't really good for them. But now yeah. that uh, now that the Google overlords have forced them into using it, <laughs> the, I mean, it, work, it, works, it works out better. Work is the only hurdle, but it's it's nice. It not only makes my workday go faster, but it makes me really excited about playing the game on Thursday. I agree yeah. with that. So, I'm very, very much would like to keep that going. It's there. I don't care to use it. All right, because well. we, we get a lot of we get a lot of RP stuff out of that. I will hope that I don't get dragged in and drown in my absence. Yeah, that's gonna be the hard part, Cole, because I don't like killing characters when the people aren't here. I do. So I guess it's oh. a fortuitous week for being up here. I will, I, will, I will try to not kill you. I can't guarantee you won't get maimed or uh, be, like, missing an ear or something when you come back, but... I did not yeah. take Revivify, so I can't revive my companions, sadly. <laughs> it was my one and only chance, but it costs 300 gold a, a pop, so... Yeah, I was kind of surprised that you did... Like, what did you... The Fine Steed, obviously, is the one you took. And Vampiric Touch. 
I was just I was I kind of expected some like divine to be taken. No. Colby is anything but divine. Well, I wouldn't expect him to be divine, but he might have been like, hmm, you know, I want to be able to, like, resurrect people or heal myself or... That one was close. Yeah. Vampiric Touch does heal me and deals some badass damage while I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, I almost took Revivify, but I didn't want to pay out 300 gold to do to re resurrect anybody. I wasn't actually thinking about my companions. I was thinking about you guys, and I was like, I would not spend 300 gold to resurrect most of you. <laughs> like, Baron, Baron would hey, would this be us. our second game, Wes? This be our second game where where somebody got to res us. It could have been. It could have been. <laughs> you could have charged them, Colby, or you could you could take Animate Dead and be like, technically, I brought you back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd search their corpse to take all. I know. I'm already kind of regretting that decision. <laughs> I guess technically, I haven't used Vampiric Touch yet. I could change it. But. Yeah, until you use it, you could change it. Um, just I'll have to um, think about it over the course of the week. Yeah, because by the time you play next, I'd like you to have them solidified. Because yeah. if I if I keep it as a rule and until you use it, you could you could choose another one. Then you can just be like at any point in time, be like, all right, I'm using this spell. Well, that makes that decision. <laughs> right. Well, that would also work backwards towards spells that I've taken over the course of the game that I've never used because there are yeah. several of those. Anyway, that happens as a caster. Yeah. 